Alright, we're gonna be playing Castlevania Lords of Shadow today. Tonight. So you guys voted for this is what so you wanted to see on the channel most as far as the games that were on that boat. Between this, Cursed Mountain, Nightmare Creatures, and Ghosts and Goblins. Uh, this had gotten more than half the votes, so I picked up a copy of this. I have played this before. Uh, not all the way through, just like maybe half the game at most. Because um, I did used to own this game back in the day. I have not played it since back then. So it's pretty much going to be a f blind playthrough to me right now. Um, yeah, hopefully we can get through it. I know it's a, it's a long game, but I remember really liking it. I'm going to see if it holds up still. Um, I haven't played every Castlevania game. In fact, I've only played two in my life. This is one of them. So, um, yeah, looking forward to playing this. So thanks for uh, thanks for anybody that voted. Let me just bring up uh, chat and everything here, and then we'll get going. Of course, this is a Konami game. Still not coming up on my screen here, hang on guys. Twitch is being difficult as always, huh? There we go. Alright, so there's the brightness there. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna do night, I'm just gonna do warrior. Even that, I remember this being hard too, like, from what I played of it. It was very difficult, so... Mankind faces ruin and despair. And you got Patrick Stewart the world uh, is narr narrating, Yet hope which is cool. in the hearts of the people. We go about our daily lives never knowing the forces that can change our destinies forever. We are oblivious, ignorant like sheep to the slaughter. This night, in the year of our Lord, 1047, marks the beginning of our journey together. A journey into darkness, into madness. I watch him from the shadows. Is he the one? He has come far already, but he will be tested. Tested to the very limits of human endurance and beyond. This night he rides looking for the old gods, armed with an amulet that has led him here. Tonight he will begin his journey into oblivion. All right. So cool that they got Patrick Stewart to uh, narrate this. Now I'm going to be drinking <laughs> Fizzy Pop. Hello Kitty Fizzy Pop. I love this stuff. Uh, a lot of places don't have it. I was able to find some. And I'm going to pour it in my new cup, guys. I got a new Halloween cup. Let me show you. Got Mike Myers on there. Pretty nice plastic cup here. Got a drink out of that. It's zeroing. So let's pour some of this right in there. And we'll get going. It's like a... This drink is actually pink. And it's kind of like a soda, I guess. And it's really good stuff. I don't know why it's so good, but... It is. It's fizzy pop. The struggle for supremacy is eternal, inevitable. Victory is the natural objective of every creature on this world. They will kill and die for their kind to dominate. Some call this eternal struggle equilibrium, the balance between light and dark. Look at this one. Yeah, looking forward to trying this game again. I want to see. I remember it being a really beautiful looking game too for the 360. Um, this is still a really cheap game. I got this for under 20. And it's a really good copy of the game. I mean, the case and manual and the discs are pretty immaculate. It's barely been used. Simply a pious lie. If it is true, 
Darkness has come to engulf one's proud humanity, and we are witnessing the end of mankind. There's uh, several Castlevania games I'd love to try still. Um, because there's so many I haven't played. I've heard Symphony of the Night is really good. I'd love to play Bloodlines. That's probably the one I want to play the most. Bloodlines and uh, Castlevania 64, the first one. Legacy of Darkness would be cool too. And then there's um, Dracula's Curse I would like to play as well. I have the first Castlevania game on NES. So we'll stream that at some point. There he is. And there they are. It's the wolves. I obviously don't remember how to play this at all. Press X to direct attacks, Y for area attacks. A to jump. Alright, easy enough. Ooh, look at that. Oh, but, oh man, this is... This combat's great. Are they enemies? Oh no. Alright, this restores our health. Yep, 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 yep. We're coming. This is gonna be an epic game, guys. I just know it. And hopefully, I can get through this game. Daggers before they vanish. Right. Okay. Hang on, what's this guy's name? Is this um? This isn't one of the Belmonts, is it? I don't even remember. This is Belmont. Does it even tell me here? It doesn't. There is like a experience points too with this game. Hello there, Star June. What's up? How you doing, man? Welcome, welcome into the stream. Gabriel. His name's Gabriel. Destroy everything. Ah, get them. Throw them daggers. Grab enemy. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, this. Forgot about that, uh, little mechanic. Kill some enemies now to collect 25 experience points. Sure. Sure, we'll do that. Give me that. Yeah! The daggers are great. One shot them. You've unlocked new skills in your tra travel book. Game looks cool. Yeah, this game's uh, awesome. I haven't played it in super long, so. But I never beat it, so I'm excited to, to try and get through it now. Have you played any of the Castlevania games before, Star June? This is your travel book. Use it to find new combat moves, abilities. Okay. Uh, so this is how you unlock more moves. acquired area attack items huh? these are usually all right, life gem medallions these are usually worn by warriors of the brotherhood of light 
Magical gems can be inserted into the empty slots and imbue the uh, wearer with increased stamina. When all five slots are full of green gems, the life bar's capacity is increased. Cool. Whip. Uh, I'm trying to see what we can open up here. We learned all that advanced moves. Skill acquired. Oh, I see. We need so guillotine's the one that we can get. So this would be hold X. Let's get that one. That's probably what it wants me to buy. What's that one? The one on the N64. Oh, <laughs> I have not tried those ones. I want to play those though. I've only tried two Castlevania games before. This one and the original one. Which I have that one too. But I really, really love <laughs> the original Castlevania a lot. And from what I played this one, it's great too. Definitely a series I need to get, I need to play more of. I don't have the N64 ones, I do want to get them though. There's two on the N64. Um, I've heard good and bad things about them, but hey, it's the N64, I love it. We love it, don't we? We love the N64, we can't get enough. And I, they look pretty good. They look pretty good to be honest. Here's a big boy having his dinner. Come on, Gabe. Right. Oh, block. All right, there we go. It's gonna be a tough fight. Uh, nice dodge. Oh, quick recover. I'm gonna die here. Look at this. Get over here. Where am I? Oh, jeez. That was a weird camera angle. Get the beast. Dude, this is a tough fight early in the game. This is the first screen. Nice. Oh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Dodge him. Good block. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. Yeah, be safe. Be safe, man. Yes, we love the N64, though, don't we? Love it. And he's still alive. Hang on, what is this? What am I doing with this thing? Am I gonna get him to charge into that? I think I see what I gotta do. Oh, we're doing this again. I wasn't paying attention. Oh! I was wondering, I'm running this through my 360, of course. I always try to play games on their uh, respected consoles, respective consoles, if I can. How do I find them? 
He... He will find you. In the forest. He will find you. I don't even know if this game is backwards compatible. I assume it probably is, but... Unlike the Xbox One and Series X, maybe. You can tell the 360's having a little trouble keeping up with the frame rate of the game because there's a lot going on. It's an impressive looking game for the 360 too. Like, it really is. We got 70. Besieged Village. I love the presentation too, like a storybook kind of thing. And you obviously, as you can see, you can revisit previous levels if you want to. It's 68%. Like, we could go back there and just see. I don't know if like we have to replay the whole thing or if we can see. If there's more items there. A struggle for super. Oh. Oh, well, we don't want to replay it. Um, I was looking to see if there was. I said 68% done. I guess there's like hidden items or whatever. Yeah, let's go. I follow him into the old forest, watching him from afar. He is strong indeed. The one god comes to drive out the many, but here, in this place, God's influence is thin and threadbare. The old gods still hold sway here. Few venture this far into the wood. He is disturbed by dreams, dreams that gnaw at his very soul. He will rest for the night. But rest will not come easy. The battle has left him weakened, but he knows the dream will return, and though he fears nothing on this earth, yet his nightmares sap the strength within him and leave a cold grip on his heart. Tomorrow he will use the old hunting path. Long has it been in disuse, but for now, he dreams. Perfect. Could they have gotten a cooler person, like, to narrate this? I mean, they couldn't have gotten an any cooler person, is what I'm trying to say. Freaking Patrick Stewart. Look at that shot there. Yeah, this is, I feel like this is definitely a good game for October, too, guys. So. Hopefully you all will enjoy this series, watching me struggle through this. This is an awesome, like, journey here. The answer is love. A force so powerful that all reason becomes blind to it. Blind to all things, even the truth. Loss of love can make a man desperate. Desperate enough to do anything to bury the truth. To hide from its pain. No. Yours. Now we ride. Ride horse. Press X to attack the wargs. Y to attack the lycanthropes. Lycanthropes riders. Um, Dodge, press and hold LT and push left stick to either side. Dodging incoming attacks from Lycans, oh boy. And X and Y. Here we go. Yo, man, what's up? Hello, GDP. Hey, what's up, Megan? Welcome in, both of you. 
This game is, uh, yeah, it's it's worthy. It's worthy of a dance like that. I'm, like, excited to, to be playing this again. It's been a long time since I, I played this game. I just got it in the in the mail today, the copy I had ordered. Um, one of the, one of the uh, games I traded in back in the day for whatever reason. But I never beat it, so here we go. Uh, ride Horse. We have 75... Dagger wave that might be worth getting. Upgrade the guillotine. Hold down in it. I'll hold X. It says. Yeah, let's see if we have like any. What is stomp? No, L and A. In the air. Can't really unlock anything till we get more. All right, here we go. Dude, I'm gonna suck at this part. Whoa. Oh, here they come. Everybody's doing well. See, I was thinking about getting um, Cursed Mountain as well. But I don't I don't think we're going to have time to play that game this month. Because this game is, is uh, you know, it's going to be long. We're still working on Silent Hill, Shattered Memories. And we might do another game as well that I have here, so. Don't know. I'll get that later. Plus, like. I'm debating if I want to get, um. Gotham Knights or, uh, Sonic Frontiers. Maybe. Eventually. I don't know if I want to get Gotham Knights right away. I feel like that game, when it, it'll go on sale, maybe quickly. Wait. Yeah, I might die here. Oh, nice. I need health. No. Nope. Get out of here, you bastard. Now we got the warg. Kill it. Nice. Okay. Pretty good. Yeah, most Castlevanias are more of a side scrolling type. Um, But there's a... Uh, oh shoot, I died. Oh, there was health right there too. Dang. Alright, I guess we gotta do that over. Um, there's like 3D ones on the N64. There's two of these ones. I, th I know there's at least two of these Lords of Shadow games. Uh, most of them are side-scrollers though. The original NES one is pretty straightforward. It's like, just go. And it's like a it's like a typical side scroller. They don't get they aren't mazy back then. I need my health. They don't mind me, enemies, just healing. They all back off now.
There it is. What? Hey up! Oh, that was good. Get those daggers. Yeah. Alright, come on. Shoot. Yeah, but this game's odd. This is like... The combat, I guess you could say it's kind of like God of War. From what I, what I would guess. Now that I've played God of War. <laughs> You're not crazy. No, only, only mildly crazy, Megan. It's okay. I'm full cra I'm full on cray cray. Though. We know that. Here's my new Halloween cup. We are drinking out of today. Mike Myers on it. I can travel no further. You will find what you see ahead. That's good. Cool. This is another series that freaking Konami need to like bring back. Make it a really good Castlevania game. Make it could be side scroller. It could be Metroidvania type. Uh, type. It could be a 3D action game like this one. Hell, make it like an Elden Ring type game. I, th I could see them doing that with Castlevania too, like a Dark Souls like game. I easily could. And so he walked. The coolest part about this game is Patrick Stewart narrates it. So you'll hear him in between levels narrating the story. New combos available. Level complete. I'm gonna bank my points again. Badass cup. <laughs> It was like two bucks at the auto Halloween store as I had to do it. But what we're drinking out of it is equally as badass, which is Fizzy Pop. So, <laughs> who who he, who on Twitch drinks a Hello Kitty drink out of a Mike Myers cup? I don't think anybody else will be doing this. It's quite the combo right there. Alone again with only his Let's listen to Patrick. Home, he continues on his journey to find the one he seeks. Who or what was that strange creature? There is a power here that few know, a power that could have some influence on events. Perhaps the guardian of the lake is aware of him now and offers guardian aid of in lake. his quest. There is just the small matter. Of the dead bog to overcome. Oh, just the a small place matter. that has claimed the lives of many of the Brotherhood. The smell of death is strong here, and danger lies around every corner, but nothing will stop him. Nothing will stand in his way. Nice. You drink your coffee out of a massive Donkey Kong mug. Hey, that is that is great. I wish I had that. Um you see I, I only own one mug myself, and it's an Alice in Wonderland one, but I have my San Jose Earthquakes uh, cup that I usually drink my coffee out of over there, because it's big. It's like one of those tumbler things. Look at this area, the bog. This game really pushed the 360 to the limits, and you can tell. I love when, like, games... You could tell they were, like... Almost too good for the system, you know? Like, even some PS2 games, you could tell. Other stuff. Like this game seems like it's like it's too good to like be on this hardware. But they did it. Alright, we got a life gem. Find more of those. Three hundred twenty-five. Again, we're just gonna bank 
the points we have. So this game combines combat with a lot of exploration too. Maybe minor puzzle solving, I don't remember. So you got a scroll that you can read. One of your favorite things in this are the move unlock animations of oh, these. Like the little drawings there, yeah, isn't that cool? It's like little sketches. Which is really cool looking. It's like one of those flip books that somebody drew in. I really that's really cool looking. Yeah, landscapes are stunning. Like everything like there's so much detail in this game. They really pushed everything they could out of this one and it's it's amazing. Also on the PS3 too, of course, but um so I just want to check over here. I don't think there's anything over there. Nope. Drop down. Somebody just... Don't you hate that when you're walking around and somebody just throws a bomb at you? Have that. Success. Oh, no more bombs for me. Oh. I love when we kill enemies, they just turn to like splats of blood. Spontaneously combust. Oh, is that uh, is that Swamp Thing? Are we playing Swamp Thing? <laughs> GDP wishes. Best part of waking up is bombs flying at your face in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> You just hate it when that happens. Terrible start to the day. Right. Yeah, as you can see, it's definitely inspired by like God of War type combat, which now I can see that. In fact, it's probably a pretty similar style game overall. Shoot, I'm not going to go where that wrinkles are coming. The fog is poisonous. Get out of there. Oh, shoot. Now they tell me. So I know there's a creature right there. I can't get around it, though. Now I'm sinking. There's health over there. Somebody's watching me. I guess we can go that way or up there. Oh! Swamp thing to get us. Okay, we need to increase that health bar. Uh, so yeah, you can, like it might be 
doing some oops minor backtracking in this or a lot of backtracking give me that experience so you could actually essentially go to earlier levels and grind to get the experience Plus, you like probably unlock other abilities that can help you get further in. Uh, let me go back this way, see what's over here before I decide to go down there more. Who's whispering? There's like a ton of paths here. Let's see, what is what is this? Oh, surprise attack. Oh, we got another gemstone. Nice. It's worth exploring. So I'm glad we came down here. Yeah, I want to get that health bar increased as soon as we can. Need three more of those gemstones. the bomb. Something else over here. Another gemstone. Life gem, whatever. I'm going to call it gemstone, probably. Mm 
Who knows which way we're going, really? come through here? Oh, okay, so we double back through this direction. Okay. Here we can go. Alright, I see. So we do have to go back over here. I knew it. It's just a dead end. I'm not going to use that health yet. they killed me like flat out killed me I was like what something keeps whispering speak up A 500 uh, experience. These guys keep coming out of here. You get freaking grind right here. Anybody else home? There you go. This is a good spot to grind then. Maybe coming out of here, maybe we could for a little, a little bit here. Let's see what we want to try and uh, acquire here.
That's 1500 that would be too expensive. Uh, spinning chain. Actually, let's get that one now. Dagger wave. Yeah, we could try and well, we'll save it for that one too. That's our new move there. Should be good for enemies that are in the air. thing yet anyways. I think we'll just grind a bit more and then save up what we have for now. Oh shoot. Punch him to death. There's the grenade. I know how to pick it up. Oh, I think I need to do that. I need to get this tree down. That's why they keep coming. Because I need their grenades. Maybe they'll stop coming now. Stuck here. Let's see if I can go back to where the health is. Okay, so they stopped coming. I could have kept grinding if I didn't throw the bombs. Looks like we're stuck here for now. Hopefully, there's more health ahead. I think something big is lurking there. I feel like that's the way I'm supposed to go, but who knows. Like, I don't want to miss out on some of the life gems. I'm sure there's 
One or two more around. This is the way I'm supposed to go. There he is, Mr. Swamp Thing. So I can't get back out to where I was. Dang. That sucks. If you go there, you can't really go back. You have to like go back to the whole level. Forgive me, brother. But my need is far greater than yours. Is this a key for door or weapon, or are we upgrading this thing? No, it has electricity or something. What is this? Oh, hook, hook tip. The relic was also built by the renowned artisan uh, Ronaldo Gandalf. Uh, Gandalfi. Uh, the articulated metal tip can be used to grip objects and enemies from distance, giving the combat cross the properties of a grappling hook. This also allows the wielder to climb, uh, rappel, and swing around environments when combined with the combat cross. Okay, how do I use that? Grip points. That's an essential thing to get there. Like, what if I didn't come in here? Alright, buddy. He's gonna be hard. Oh, shoot. Grab anything to hit him with? Dude, I'm ready for that. Oh, shoot. Gets me now, I don't dude. He's got funky patterns here. losing this spout, but if I had full health, I probably could have beaten him now. Maybe he's got to be patient here. Oh, come on, jumped into it. Feeling the rage. I 
be closer than I thought it was going to be. Press the button. Dude, I don't even have full health here. This is this is tough. First real like boss fight here, kind of. Oof, there we go. Easy with that. Oh my, now I'm doing worse now. Of course, I, like I had him beat, and now I'm not gonna be able to beat him. Do my patient game again. I wish it would respawn me with uh, full health here. too early or something because it doesn't matter what button you press in that quick time thing just as long as you press a button when it gets into the circle anyway, I think I hit the second one too early For you, I've had you beat twice already because of some stupid button press. Quick time event, we've lost twice. this time. <sighs> oh my gosh. It sucks because we had him beat twice. We had him beat twice already. I just needed more health. Like I don't know why they don't start you with more health. It sucks. Maybe that button press too, if we lose there, maybe it kills you automatically. There we go, some more daggers. They don't really do much to them though. Really damage them at all, actually. I'm trying to do this with like half my health is kind of tough. 
We don't even have that much health to begin with. Third time can we like essentially destroy him. This time for good hopefully. Kill him. There we go. <laughs> wow, who what is that? I don't know what those are. Daggers here. Brotherhood arc. Great to acquire more daggers, I love that. Well, they didn't do much against that enemy at all. Really useless against him. But I guess the little enemies will be good. Nice little ambience of the waterfall. Shoot, look at this. I'm gonna go back and check the other path real quick too. This game is like really, really good. Beautiful looking scene. Here we go, finally some health. How many points do we have? 705. So we do dagger wave. Upgrade that, we can get a flying kick in the air. Hmm. Air grab. I feel like I should just save all my points right now and eventually I'm just gonna like splurge. Move away now. <laughs> I think there was something up there, though. Didn't it? Yeah, there's definitely something over there. Hang on, 
drop down. You mean to tell me I can't go right there? Like, oh, there's a there's a collectible right there, and I can't get it. Why not? What? Did I have to get it by jumping over to the other? How do I get back? It's not gonna let me get back, is it? Nope. Of course not. That sucks. That's probably one of the life gems, too. So you'd have to like start the whole level over to go through and get that. That's what really. After you beat a level, it'd be cool if they like let you tran like quick travel to like any of the uh, the health locations as like checkpoints. That way, if there was like you know where an item was that you couldn't get to, you could like at least get there a lot quicker. I want to try and get that, but I'm not going through the whole level again to try and do that. But once you miss it, it's gone. <laughs> it's in the rear view mirror. And it only gets further away. Right. Did I see it? Did I see the uh, the Konami thing today? The Sound Hill? Is that what you're referring to, Dalton? What else could you possibly be referring to, right? Oh, it was big. That Pan's Temple. The stench of the bog fades into memory, and a land of great beauty lies before him. A paradise where nature lives in harmony with all living creatures. Indeed, a refuge for those who wish it. Mm. He is close now, close to the old gods and the old ways, long forgotten by men. I mean, kingdom was once I'm really excited for Silent Hill F, I'll tell you that. Now, only a small I have high of, hopes for that one. Soon even this will disappear. But even though we don't know much about it yet, it looks like it. I think the F he will need all his strength could that stand for all five? His wits. If he is to succeed here, if he is to convince the old god to help him. Because, you know, there's never been a, a deemed Sound Hill 5, you know? There's been one through four, and then they had the names for all the other ones. Because maybe that's what F is. Really excited, man. Like a brand new Silent Hill game. I know they're remaking two as well. Which, um... Four games? Wait a minute, there's four? I saw Silent Hill 2 remake. I saw Silent Hill F, and I think maybe another one. So what are the other two? Besides two and then F. F I know is a brand new one. Because I only saw those those ones. What else they got coming out? Sound Hill Ascension, Sound Hill Townfall? Interesting. So what do you know what kind of games those are gonna be yet? The Ascension and the Townfall ones? They have four ga how are they working on four games? <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, you'll probably get like one and then maybe a year later you'll get another one. Magical rune. We got. This is a nice looking area. They're all made from different devs. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like how Call of Duty puts their games out to like different developing teams. And 
Konami's just gonna publish them. That's good. That means essentially we could get more and more Silent Hill games more frequently now. Just as long as they don't overdo it. As long as they're good. I guess it, it's more about if as long as they're good, you know, they can make a ton of games, but as long as they're good, that's what matters most. Can't have too much of a good thing. People who make Dead by Daylight are making Ascension, so I assume that's going to be maybe a multiplayer game. Who knows? Blooper Team's making the two remake. That's what I figured. They're the ones that do the medium game, which was really good. Neobards is F. I don't know Neobards. And Townfall is in house. Okay. Ooh, so we'll see. Man, I mean, Town or Townfall. Townfall, we'll see. I'm excited for F because it looks like it's going to be. Like I said, that's like a brand new one, but I didn't know about Ascension or Townfall. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be playing the two remake, too. Um, I'm sure Bloober Team's going to be doing a good job with that. I personally probably won't play it, but. Just because I'm, I'm pretty fine with just having the, the regular two. But that's still... I, I feel like they're going to do a really good job with that. I was kind of when Blooper Team would be doing like one of the other Silent Hills, but that's alright. Maybe down the line they will, they'll make like a brand new one. It's a big responsibility to be remaking that game. Finally, Konami, Konami doing stuff. Finally. As we're playing a Konami great here. Now they gotta bring this series back. <laughs> with a good vengeance. And they gotta save Pez. If they can save Pez, and they make Silent Hill good now, like, they're gonna start to gain a little bit more respect back, at least from me. That is three of those. Number four. Oh, okay. The Townfall devs. Those of Resident Evil are making F. Suspect it to be multiplayer, too. Oh. Multiplayer. I don't like. Does Silent Hill need multiplayer? <laughs> I don't think it does. But every day, like every game these days, I feel like they try to force multiplayer in because that's what everybody wants. But not really. Not everybody wants that. They just they, they think it's what everybody wants because of all the oversaturation of these, um, you know battle royale type games and stuff there's so many now so everybody thinks oh I gotta get a multiplayer game out there you don't really need to but not that I'm saying it couldn't work it can work but I'm not you know buying a Silent Hill game to play multiplayer that's all I'm saying games like Dead by Daylight Evil Dead yeah you want to play some multiplayer there this is another really pretty looking screen here and then so it's another life gem. I think we're one away. Yeah, one away from increasing the old health bar, finally. Yeah, we're just I'm happy that the series is back. Silent Hill's back. That's good. That is a good thing. They just gotta do right by it now. So Townfall, yeah, Townfall's in-house. That one might be the most exciting then. If it's going to be made by Konami, then, um, yeah, excited, dude. I'm excited, then. I, I mean, F, F is probably going to be good if it has, like, a nice, um, single player, too. Which I assume it will. And they gotta make it creepy. There's a 
gorgeous looking game. We're playing Castlevania God of War. It says, and I quote, real time interactive series that lets fans decide what happens with what? That's crazy. So I'm thinking it's going to be like Until Dawn or like The Walking Dead. I mean, yes. Oh, if it's like an Until Dawn type game, I could see them doing that with like a Silent Hill. That would be kind of cool. Like, you know, like the, the Man of Madon, stuff like that. I mean, that's a really popular type of game in right now, are those. Uh, the Cory looks good, but again, I won't buy that till it's like cheap, you know, like. I'm not spending seventy dollars on oh, most games. You know, I'll pick and choose which ones I want to spend seventy on when they come out. Uh, but you know, the Dark Pictures games are pretty solid. So we'll see. Maybe, maybe it'll be like that. We don't know. Hopefully, more information later this year. Hey, Shulk. Nice to see you. How you doing? I've been okay. I've been just. Really like tired and fatigued lately for some reason, and I've been going to bed a lot earlier <laughs> recently. So I've been waking up super early in the morning. That's why I haven't been on at night for a bit. Let's see if we get up here. Yeah, welcome in. Hope you're doing good. Man. Four games. I'm freaking erect. I just don't cancel any of them. I can't have another Sun Hills occurrence. I still haven't recovered. Yeah. You know what sucked too is because I liked the guy that was going to be in that, Norman Reedus, and then like, they're like, nope, like I wish he would get another shot to be the actor for the game, although he did end up being, um, of course, in, uh, what you call it, Death Stranding, which I need to play. Dark pictures they always get for twenty dollars around Black Friday. Yeah, I mean that's what I'm saying. They're like that genre is cool, but it's not something I want to spend you know full price on. Exactly. Like my brother got me two of those games, and he got them like at cheap too. I think he sent them to me for Christmas two years ago. I played Man of Madonna. I loved it. I still have to play Little Hope. I have Little Hope. I haven't played that one yet. But like, like I said, the quarry looks looks like it's probably really, really good. But I'm not gonna spend seventy bucks on it. I just, you know, not not right now. You'll do the same for quarry. Yeah, exactly. Like, just wait, wait till they go on sale. Like, like some new games. If it's not something I really need right away, I'm just you know just wait. Like, why why not? You know, I'd rather spend. I'd almost rather spend seventy dollars on a retro game that I really, really want for a console I love, like Dreamcast or something. Um, because, that, you know, you have to, you know, to get some good games from the retro ones. Because then, you know, because those will only go up in price, you know. But with the newer games, you know, eventually they're going to get a little bit cheaper. So that's the justification that you can say, like, oh yeah, spend your money on the retro ones now and wait to get the newer ones. We got a naked fairy here. Select rune. Well, I don't know what rune to give her. Have this one. Oh, I need to actually change them. Wait a minute. This is a puzzle. I'm not ready for this. Do I have to do it in this order that I got them? a lot Tinkerbell you bought the Koi for 70 you still haven't played it you have not played it you got it for 70 though damn you like some some newer games I'm definitely gonna spend 70 on I'm gonna have to Series X games I don't know if I've spent 70 on a Series X game yet 
I think they've all been 60. Like Elden Ring, I'm pretty sure it was 60. And some of the other ones I have are like cheaper ones. Like I got Scarlet Nexus for like 20 bucks. I think I got a few other games for pretty cheap too. The Medium, I think I spent around 30. No, 20. I think I spent 20 on Medium. Because that was on sale when I got it. Why do I get this freaking thing up here? They're not going to mock me with this. And now let me get it here. Come on, Gabriel. Get up there. There's no ledge grab and there's nothing to grip either. They're just really... They're going to sit here and just mock me with this thing. I can't jump up on this. Oh boy. How dare they. Amazon delivery simulator is death straight. <laughs> it just looks so chill. It looks so good. Like... I get it. It's probably a game you have to be in a certain mood for, but... I just know I'm going to like Death Stranding when I play it. I really do. I'm pretty confident that I'm going to not be disappointed by it. The day will come. I will experience it much later than most, but... You know, I'll be happy to play it. And I'll probably enjoy it. Give her a you, you'll take one for the team. Okay, we'll give you to the naked fairy, got it. I'm sure she'll be enthralled. Next full price game you get is Breath of the Wild too. That's that's worth the money. This is that'll be sixty dollars probably. It won't be seventy, but it'll be sixty. Yeah, like I'll spend sixty on that. Like, I'm thinking, like, I was thinking of Gotham Knights, but I'm like, that game, I feel like, is going to go down in price pretty soon, like, pretty quickly. Um, I just, I just have a feeling, like, it won't be $70 for, like, too, too long. Um, and then, I, maybe Sonic Frontiers, I'm thinking about. I think Sonic Frontiers is going to be 60 on Series X. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a $60 game. So there we go, that's... Maybe I'd spend 60 on that. New Sonic game. Because I want something else for that system. That'd be kind of like, really, really cool to play. And that one's coming out in like, a week after Halloween. Sonic Frontiers. Gotham Knights is out in like a couple days. There's no way I'm dropping... 70 bucks on a game in a couple days. Breath of the Wild 2 will be next year. Show yourself. The brotherhood needs your help. Show yourself. I need your help. Naked fairy. I know who you are. I oh, look at this goat. <laughs> this thing's great. Do you know? Do you know when any of those Silent Hill games are coming out? Did they like reveal any? I assume they didn't reveal like any like exact dates, but they gave us like an idea of when they might be out. PS5 70 buck games you bought so far. The Quarry, Horizon Forbidden West, which you got a lot of, and Ghostwire Tokyo, which looks cool. Elden Ring was 60. Yeah, I think... I think Elden Ring was 60. I remember... I bought it off of... Because remember, I ordered it off like GameStop's website and didn't get it right away. And I think I used the coupon, but I'm pretty sure it was 60 to begin with. You don't want to be given to the goat? Why not? 
across these lines. Her soul and those of the recently departed are trapped here. You'd rather be given to the naked fairy. 2023, maybe for Ascension. As much as anybody. So now he's going to speak to this, this lady that he saw. Somehow, some way. Nothing else we've seen yet. So I mean, I'm sure it'll be. Oh shoot! I'm gonna get her killed. <laughs> Oh, this is not going to go well. Dude. Okay, let's reset this. I didn't like that at all. Only the cute fairy, sure. Anything for you. I would get Forbidden West, but I don't have a PS5. I don't know how the PS4 version will hold up. You want to play it at its best on PS5. Yeah, some games, like, you do want to probably play on next gen, like... Like, uh, before I got my Series X, I could have bought Halo Infinite and played it on Xbox One, but I wanted to wait till I got a Series X and thankfully you know we did get one and uh, I'm glad I waited that's why like I'm only playing on Series X the games that I'm specifically going to be playing on there are the games that I have to play on there you know but the ones that I'm are for next gen more or less you know Forbidden West probably looks beautiful on the PS5 Um, Alright, so we have this. Let's start with turning... I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get this to work. Early doors. That was a waste of time, hang on. I think I need to do... It's gonna take me like 20 tries to get this, so... You got partnered today with Fresh Cut GG. What is, I mean, congratulations, what is Fresh Cut dot GG? You got partnered for, um, for your streaming? Or what is, I don't I have no idea what Fresh Cut is. Is it a vegetable company? <laughs> Welcome back, Megan. For your videos. Oh, on YouTube. Oh, nice, dude. Congrats. So they are going to sponsor your videos, essentially? I'm going to pay you to put... Because that's, that's really good, man. to do here. This is... Nerve-wracking. Uh, that 
didn't work. Oh, if I turn that, hang on, if I turn that the other way, maybe I can get it. Hang on, hang on. There we go. <laughs> glory, glory. She's still gonna die. My hero. <laughs> well, that was a M. Night Shyamalan twist. Oh. <laughs> Escape. Send me in there. You would be terrible at recording a commercial? Oh, me too. I'm like, I would not would be, I mean, I would not be the person for like, faking enthusiasm, to be honest. <laughs> like, I can't do that crap. Like, pretend to be like, super enthusiastic about something. That's why I can't make videos and stuff like that. Like, if I'm genuinely excited about something, yeah, you, you, you know it, but, and I'll show it. They are a partnership. It's a new platform similar to TikTok. They had a lot of advertisements at Evo. They joined the attorney. It was sponsored by Fresh Cut. So I should apply this. Delivers the freshest gaming clips from creators and communities you love. Play from your favorite fighting games. First person shooters, MOBAs, and more. I do. It's all game been short from TikTok platform. You get paid weekly as a partner. Oh, that's that's great, man. So you can make like shorts for that um for that company. Fresh Cut is just for gamers too. Zero be like, how dry do you want? Yeah, it I'll be like, imagine me doing a sponsor, guys, being like. Oh, what will be my will be my sponsor? Like this would be like fizzy pop. Be like fizzy pop, guys. Man, I love this shit. There's your there's your sponsor right there. That's it. That's it. And then I pour it into my Halloween cup and drink it. But a round of applause for Dalton and his partnership. That's good, man. That is good. Um, hopefully, they you can kind of like grow on the platform too. On that one. All you gotta do is post four videos a week. I've got so many combo videos. I'm gonna just yoink some different vids and boom, gold. Yeah, there you go. So in order to stay partner, you just gotta do four vids a week. And they're like short things, right? So that shouldn't be too tough. You don't have to put like a ton of time into it. GDP has done trick or treat. Dalton says well done with the commercial. Yeah, wasn't that gold golden? 
All right, so I have this Hershey's Red, White, and Blue bar, cookies and cream. We're gonna bust this open and start working on this with a trick or treat. GDP. This one's good. Good old Hershey's bar here. Back to a little bit more candy. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. You think it's working? You definitely want some fizzy pop in a Halloween cup now. See, there you go. Go find fizzy pop. Although, this is like hard to find. We were at a, um, a world marketplace uh, shop not too far from here. Had it. Sometimes the Asian market has it too, but they're usually out of it. Because people like me go in there and buy it. Yeah, exactly. No, no, yeah, definitely don't. Definitely. Don't. <laughs> Love this game. You have to see the DLC. So there's there's DLC for this. I didn't know that. Make sure to watch after the credits. If I ever get to the end of this. This is a long game too, isn't it? We're going to Oblivion Lake. Let's be serenaded by Patrick Stewart again. So Pan is helping him now. That's good. Perhaps it bodes well. I wonder if he knows what awaits him here, in this place where the dead can contact the living. It is cold now. A chill wind blows through his heart. I can see it. Feel it. He will need help if he is to succeed. He must not fail. He will not fail. Not now. Not yet. Not if I have anything to do with it. So it doesn't matter about views, you just get, you just have to make the videos. Because they just want to get more people on the platform, that's, I mean, that's smart, I guess, right? More videos up, more traffic, more people coming through. And they need content creators to create stuff so people actually go there and they have stuff on the site. Uh... Wait, what movie sequel are we talking about? That went right over my head. Speaking of videos, your girl over here has been drawing up the next one. What you got for us next? It's a silly one. Silly. All about more peoples that just launched this year. Yeah, so a new platform. They need, they need people coming in there. What movie sequel is it is coming out? So far, there are 400 plus creators on the, on the Discord. A lot of viewers like 2K in the Discord at least. Okay. They made a mistake by getting you on there. No. no. Yeah, they're going to see you come on and be like, you know what, guys? Maybe we shouldn't have this platform. Maybe, maybe, maybe we made a mistake by making this. There's a new Silent Hill movie? They're making a third move. Wait a minute. They announced that today, too? That, that's the first I'm hearing about that. Damn. So there's a new Silent Hill movie as well. I like the first Silent Hill movie. Second one's... Eh, okay, I guess. But I enjoyed the first one, anyways. With Sean Bean. You're drawing a fan art of this YouTuber watch so drew all the characters from the games he plays, Animal Crossing, Greenlight Valley, and Dinkum. What the heck is Dinkum? And in Dinkum we call him Dinkum Dan, so I drew his character in a Sailor Moon outfit. <laughs> can you draw me in a Sailor Moon outfit? Sailor, can you make me Sailor Jupiter? <laughs> Imagine. Let's not do that. 
Dinkum Dinkum Dan. That's a good name. <laughs> She's like, of course I can do that. Yeah, because the world needs to see that. That's exciting. That's fine. That's going to be a silly one indeed. But dude, so there's a third Sauna movie coming out as well. That's, that's really awesome. Man. Finally, yes, we have a health increase. It's not that much, but we'll take it. Yeah, well, get off the ice. What are you doing? You're just looking at it. Get away. Giant ice monster coming. If he freaking left quicker, he would have been gone before this thing even got out of the ice. He's like staring at it. Oh, dude, it's like a giant. Uh, I got some. Shadow of the Colossus boss here. And tomorrow there's a uh, Capcom news with Resident Evil. Oh. They updated uh, Dreamlight Valley today. Oh, I didn't see that, no. So they added Scar and They still haven't done any Halloween stuff for that. So I would, ho I would hop on that for at least a night if uh, they did like a Halloween event during October here. We're going to fight this guy. What are you guys saying? Looks like I got to save Sound Hill too. <laughs> You're gonna get the updated one. Cause you're playing oh you're playing Sound Hill too. And now you gotta go get Scar, right? Oh boy. Don't know what I'm doing. How do I hurt this prick? Dude, he's kicking my ass. This is like Shadow of the Colossus. Oh, shoot. Hang on, Gabe. Stop shaking, would you? Not sure which way to get up here. How do I get up? Shoot, did I go up the wrong way? Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have something here. Oh, okay, so we gotta get to his rooms, so that's cool. Need to get on him? 
shoot. Hang on. Halloween event is live? Oh wait, so there is? What's the Halloween event? Tell me about that. Because I could stream that one of these nights in October then. Not that we have a ton of nights left, but I gotta do say to K2, we gotta do this. And I know Evil Within is still something I would like to do as well this month. I know Shulk wants to see that. Well, I really want to play that game again. Someone bitching about the Disney villains, why? Wow, that's that's stupid. Essentially, they are pissy that the villains are washed out because they don't act evil in the game while simultaneously complaining about how toxic they are in the movies and traumatized they were as a kid over them. That doesn't make, even make sense. Why would they care if they're washed out if they were traumatized by them as a kid? <laughs> it's just a game. It's a Disney game. You're supposed to like get along with the villains in the town, right? Anyways, to like live in your town. Oh my goodness. You've always been interested in uh, Evil Within 1 and 2. They're great. They are great, man. This game too, I never played any of the 3D Castlevanias. Yeah, this is the only, uh, this is the only one I've ever tried. The 64 ones, I, of course, I've heard good and bad things about. I do want to get those eventually, but... um, Yeah, this is, this is worth playing. This is like a little bit God of War in there. With some other things mixed in, I guess. I didn't even think about that when I was playing through God of War earlier this year. I didn't even, like, compare it to this game, I don't think. Because I hadn't played this in so long, and it just just picked it up again. It's a two-disc game as well. So there's, there's a second disc that we have to eventually get to. Don't know if I ever made the second disc in my earlier playthrough, but I tried back in the day. Did she want to be evil or not exactly? It's like whatever. <laughs> like it's a game, like Disney game, living in the town. Like she's reading too much into it, I think. Dude, he keeps slapping me off. How do I dodge him? Alright. Definitely not beating him the first try, but... I, I... What? How do I... How do I dodge? Maybe it's L and A? Dude, yeah, I died. That was a bad run from the beginning. All right, let's try that again. The music in Scar's house. <laughs> He's already playing. He heard about update Scar. He's in. Didn't take him long. He's like, I'm in. All right. I need to get to him so I can. Right, come on, buddy. Dude, really? How do I dodge that? I can't dodge that. Let's get up, let's get up, come on. Jeez.
I mean, this is a different boss fight from the other ones. This is way different. So it feels like we're playing a different game here. How do I move up? How comes I can't move up? There we go. Jeez. Like if they were complaining about them being evil when they were kids, why are they complaining about them not being evil now? People just need stuff to uh, to be angry about over on Twitter and Facebook, anything. God of War and Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah, this this entire part is Shadow of the Colossus here. Which I still would like to get that game and stream that one. I've only played I only tried that game out once. That was it. But people say it's a classic. Alright, here we go. I gotta figure out where I'm going next. I don't know how much a PS. I, think, I don't think that game goes for that much on PS2. Shadow of the Colossus, actually. Surprisingly. Dude, he's shaking a lot. Oh, he just threw me down. What the heck? Come back, come back. Dude, he's hard because he's so strong, too, when he hits you. You gotta go through all that again. Oh my gosh, and he killed me. Wow. Dude, he's so strong. He's tough. Hydration, good. Now we can drink from our Mike Myers cup. Fizzy pop. Lords of Shadow the Colossus, exactly. Yeah, it was remastered. Yeah, that's probably why it was. Um, it's not that expensive on PS2. It's good. If it was a game that was never released on anything else, but only on the PS2, like never digitally or anything, it would it would probably be a super expensive game today. You can bet on that. That right there, I don't know how to dodge that. Cause he always gets me with that. I just gotta jump straight, maybe? Looks like I just gotta jump straight. The finicky dodge on his arm is tough. Like, I don't know. That's the part I'm struggling with the most. Just gotta get better at dodging all of his stuff. Learn a little bit each time we fight him, hopefully, and then we can eventually beat him. <laughs> grip, grip, grip. He has so much health, too. Man. Quotes was her saying, like, why is Ursula and Ariel living simultaneously together? Like, that see which then her voice out of Ariel's throat. And then complaining about having to be nice to the villains by cooking them food. 
They don't deserve why. <laughs> then why are they playing the game if they don't like why? If it annoys you that much. I'm struggling here. Hey, ghost toast. This, this part right here, like, I don't... I don't know, I'm just bad at that part, I guess. And then there's a part here where he, like, grabs you. I don't know exactly how to get away from him. Let's see, guys. Yeah, like, what am I... Is he just, like, is able to grab me? There's nowhere I can go there. There's absolutely nothing I can do there. For that, you just gotta jump. There we go. We're doing this again. Going through this song and dance again. Dude, he took forever to freaking swing. Now I can dodge there. And now I can dodge there. I don't think I could jump across them like that. Alright, we got two down. Dude, jump over to it. What? He wouldn't go. I don't know why. Oof. Oh boy. Oh boy, guys. This is, this is pretty tough. It's a tough boss. Get back. There we go. Now he's getting out of there. Oh. We're on his back. Hey, Horace Moon, you soft baby. <laughs> no, like, there won't be any villains in there. Did Stevie tell me about what happened? I saw what happened. He, I saw it on his feed thing. I know somebody that got scammed off of um, Postmates before too. It's really dumb. You gotta be careful with those services. Because like people are really... Like, just petty about it. About scamming people on there. Whether it be like scamming your account, taking your food, things like that. Shit. Dude, his grabs are just like... There's nothing I can do about it. It's too late. Alright, so we're gonna just... I have to go through every round of this dodging again just to get back over there. It's like when you fall or get grabbed, like you're going back through everything again. Everything. I think if we one more hit, we die here. That now what? Oh, grip him. This is a really hard fight. 
long fight too. No! Shoot. Oh man. Now we're really dead. Even though we're pretty close to, uh, it was health, I guess about halfway down. Now we're getting better at that one. So we won't get him this time, but maybe the next attempt we will be able to. What? Not there. <laughs> There it is. Right. You wouldn't use DoorDash to get strict with who picks up the food. Oh yeah, because people can go in there and just say that they're picking up food for somebody. All they have to do is like get the name right, the first name, or whatever. Like, yeah, I'm picking up food for this person. Even if it's sitting there on the counter, they can see the name. So they can just say it, you know. I think anybody can just go in there and pick it up. And say that they work for DoorDash, you know? Wait, oh, gave me a checkpoint? That's, uh, generous. I didn't know I got a checkpoint on the boss. That's good. That's fair. I mean... It is a long fight here, so at least they gave me something. There we go, you just gotta, oh I see, jump over there. Rip. Nice, okay. Ah. What the heck? What the heck? Let me that I can't get up to him. He just keeps shaking. There we go. I should know where we going. shaking here. Oh, that was close. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get away from there. Get back. I wasn't utilizing my jump enough earlier in my attempts. Who's this? Way to steal my glory. Hey, it's uh, Patrick Stewart. It's a hell of a dagger throw. Right between the eyes. You think the updated Disney characters got more ass than you remember? <laughs> there you go. That's that's part of the new update for you. Yeah, I mean that's just people being being petty, man. Being stealing people's food. It's dumb. I mean, I, I know. Like I said I know somebody got scammed. 
off of, uh, I don't know if it was DoorDash or Postmates, whatever it was. Good gig, get paid to eat someone else's food, I know. So you don't have to work for those companies, though. You can just, like, if they're not, like, most restaurants are like, if you're here to pick up food, like, they won't even, it's not like you have to show a badge or something. Oh, yeah, I work for Postmates. You can just go in there and be like, you know, these people that go and steal food. Like, yeah, I'm here to pick up the Postmates order. And then they might not even ask for the name. I'll just give it to them because it could be busy in there. You know, I'm not going to think twice about it. And they just give them the food and off they go. I'm sure the real Postmates worker went there looking for the food and it wasn't there. My love. The elders are the what well, if there isn't a Postmates order, then I guess they move on to the next spot. Some places leave the food right out there for like, you know, online orders or whatever to take. They just put your name on it or something. You could walk in and be like, you know, hey, I want this. There's so many times I ordered Subway. And they just put it out there. Like, you, this, you don't have to go and ask anybody for it. You don't have to, you know, wait for it behind the counter or something. It's like out there on like the shelf. I would walk in and I would grab it. I would make sure, it, obviously, it's my name on the order. And I'd be like, th I would always say like, thank you and everything and walk out. But like, <laughs> anybody could go in there and say that it's, you know, be like, they could look at it and be like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm Matthew or I'm Zero or I'm Dalton or I'm whoever can just walk out with it you know they could wait to see they could scope out the place you know and people do it like I'm saying people do it they've I've read stories I know people have been, been scammed with that it's stupid it's petty but why you can't here? trust people what can I say if you were if you were a bad person, you know what we'd be doing. With that. <laughs> Wait, he is a Belmont. He's Gabriel Belmont. Yes, was my wife. And that was his. Oh, his wife's the lady in the flashbacks and stuff. I couldn't help. With the dreams. It sounds like the spirits who founded our order are trying to tell us something very important through her. Exactly, yeah. ghost house, exactly. <laughs> Only that the founders of the order seem to be using the dead to communicate. Stealing people's food. This is the prophecy very petty. is a secret for many centuries. It is known only to a select few. There is no way she could have known of it unless. They managed to tell her something. Praise be to God. What? Prophecy. It is written that a pure-hearted warrior will claim the power of the Lords of Shadow as his own and use it in order to overcome all evil. It is said this warrior will become God's vassal on earth, supremely powerful. He could do anything. He wants a powerful the vessel. Have not abandoned this game. Thanks to your Marie. We now know there is some hope. We have to enter the lands of the Dark Lords. We must reclaim the powers they hold and unite the heavens with this world once more. And don't you see, Gabe? You can bring her back. If what you say is true, then we need to work quickly and in secret. I can't and tell Gabriel's accent. Sometimes he sounds, maybe he's Spanish, other times it sounds like he's Scottish, or Irish, I don't know. Or perhaps he's British, I can't tell. He's working lots of accents here. It will allow you to absorb spiritual energy and will help cure your wounds. Cure my wounds. Good luck, my friend. We will be granted victory. Thank you, brother. You have given me the need help. 
Thanks, Patrick Stewart. I love that the whole game is just like this epic, like, Lord of the Rings journey, where he's just like going across the land. <laughs> Look at that cheap uh, hair going. Uh, we have a lot of skills here in the game. I got no skills in real life. But we got skills in the game. Let's see what we can get. Let's upgrade. Well, should we buy something good? I'm gonna get this flying kick move, because why not? You know, half these moves again, when there's this many things to buy, I'll end up pulling off these moves out of pure accidents. Uh, a pure accident, I mean, by rather than me actually meaning to pull it off, I'll just be hitting buttons. So the more I buy, the more chance I have of pulling off something good. <laughs> Air grab. Let's grab that one, too. Flying kick was in the air. Wait, we have the flying kick and the air grab both the same button. Okay. Buying all these aerial moves. Let's buy the dagger wave too. Alright, that's good. That's good for now. So that was actually funny. I actually said that it was funny. There's a first. There's a first. Hmm. Wonder. I think I'm gonna take a break, guys, and see if I might grab a little something to eat. I'm getting kind of hungry, but uh, we're gonna play more of this tonight. This is an awesome, awesome game. I'm enjoying it. Hopefully, you guys are too. Thanks everybody for being here so far. I appreciate you all for some more zero ween action. Um. We will continue, probably just play this one tonight, I, I guess, because I want to get a good chunk of this one out of the way right off the bat, because I know it's going to be a long game. I don't even know if we'll be able to finish this in October, but I'm going to try to. I at least want to finish Silent Hill, and then maybe start Evil Within. So I'll be back in a few moments, guys. Enjoy, the, enjoy yourselves. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. I guess I'll return.
All right, let's continue our quest. We're on. Oh, that was the end of chapter one. Whoa, there's a lot of chapters. How many is that? Twelve. Big web six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve chapters there. Okay. Probably with that big boss at the end of each, and each chapter has a bunch of sub levels in it. So yeah, this is a long we game. Ways here now. My instincts tell me he is filled with hope. A hope that will drive I'm really enjoying it so far. It's quite the journey. Perhaps he is the one, a warrior of pure heart who can deliver us from all evil. Perhaps. I wonder what went through his mind when he saw her there. This game just got much did larger for what I've just seen is true. He see his future blown away like yeah, I always knew it was a long game. I spy him as he heads out towards the Even when I had it back in the day and played like... A forest I don't know how far I got into it. That leads to the Maybe halfway. The ruin of an ancient civilization is there. I can't even remember. I couldn't tell you. Like, Once a proud I don't even remember some of these parts I've already done. Vision. But I know I've gotten, I know I got like further than this, much further than this. I played a lot out, put a lot of hours into this back in the day, but even then I wasn't even, maybe I was halfway through it or something. Well, that's a nice beginning to this area. Yeah. Whoops, whoa, okay. <laughs> whoa, Gabriel. There we go, finally hit the right button there. What do we got here? Give me a life gem. Uh, scroll. Yeah, the scenery in this game is beautiful. Stunning. Where am I? Uh, let's go back here. Anything over here? Ooh. There's always something behind the waterfall, isn't there? This device requires shadow magic to activate it. Come back. Again, when your skills have improved, so they tell me I suck. You're not good enough. guys in a while. These are neutral elemental orbs. Or neos. <laughs> You're able to absorb them thanks to... What? I couldn't even read that. And that... You now have converted neutral energy to light magic power. Oh, that's right, yeah. So, with this, this can replenish our health. Okay. There we go. Light magic. There's light flash that we can get. And then the Holy Cross. Mm. 
We have all the basic actions, advanced moves. We're going to work our way through some more of those. And then we'll have powers, all right? So far, so good. You're stunning. <laughs> yeah, I'm so stunning. What is this freaking thing? Oh, elemental energy. Nice. We can restore it there. This game just got much larger. I'm reading the same comment twice. Sometimes that happens. I look away, and I look back, and then I start reading something, and I realize, oh, wait a minute. I've already read this comment. <laughs> How good I am. Alright, that's full. There we go. Now I can activate this and get some more health back. This is a good way to, to heal on the fly. I remember that element of it. This active so we get some help. Then. <laughs> Whoops. Nothing else over there. Alright, let's go back. Feel free to read it again. Yeah, you want me to read it again? Right, here we go. So this game just got much larger if what I've just seen is true. There we go. I read it for the third time. Or two and a half now. <laughs> I'm starting to sound like an NPC from a video game with only a couple lines of dialogue. This game just got much longer if what I just seen is true. You keep interacting with them and they keep saying the same damn thing over and over again. We got a dagger in there. Going one path and not being able to go back to the areas I haven't seen yet, and then missing out on some of those life gems. Speaking of, maybe there's one right here uh, light magic, collect five to increase your light magic. Oh, there we go. Well, there's one. I prefer a green one, I really want the health to go up. Oblivion's NPCs. Halt! Who goes there? Turns into 360. Halt! Who goes... I've heard... I've heard many things about the Oblivion NPCs. But I've yet to experience them for myself. One day. One day I would like to. Actually, I was looking, there's a, I know my game shop has like the special edition of Oblivion for 360 that comes with all the extra stuff or something. And it's like 20 bucks. I think it is.
that's another series like I can get into big time I'm sure is Elder Scrolls at least like Skyrim and Oblivion and probably Morrowind too if I ever played that one I have Skyrim but um, I never sunk a ton of time into it so whenever I begin that series who knows whenever that day comes we'll um, see how far we can get in that it's, I know it's like a kind of like an ongoing game like open-ended it's, it's so big like some games are just so freaking big I'll just double check back here Must have been the wind. Is that one of their famous lines too? With the music behind it, it's even better. The uh, NPCs with their fantastic lines. I love janky, uh, funny NPCs. It's one of my favorite things in video games in general. Um, is just NPCs that are just crazy. And pushing the limits of how you can drive them crazy <laughs> to the point where they don't know what to do with themselves. Uh, one of my favorite NPCs are the ones in the Venetica game that I, I always talk about, the, M the RPG I love. Venetica, they repeat their lines a lot in that too. And I say it all the time on stream too, guys. If you ever hear me say, hmm, this looks nice, that's from Venetica. If you ever hear me say, uh, what's the other thing they always say in that game? Oh yeah, hmm, I don't know. Again, if you hear me say that in stream, I'm referencing uh, Venetica. Because <laughs> I don't even know what they don't know about. Like, what do you mean they don't know? They don't know what? They're just like, you'll be walking around in that game. You'll hear like three people in a row, or all at once, be like, hmm, I don't know. And I'm like, I don't know either. I don't know what they're going on about. Well, they'll be like, oh, that looks nice. I'm like, what are they even, what are they talking about? <laughs> it's those sort of things that give me pleasure. No one knows. Yeah, no one knows. Hmm, I don't know. I mean, fair, that's kind of like me, too. Just, just with life, you're just like, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> oh, Benetica, how, how I love thee. What other game has like good? Oh yeah, the NPCs in um, Sleeping Dogs are hilarious too. Like, we used to, my brother and I used to create traffic jams. Like, just get a bunch of cars and just tra make it traffic jam at a big intersection, and see how the NPCs react. And they would like freak out, honk their horns, try and drive around it or through it, or hit you with their car. They didn't know what to do. <laughs> That's the kind of things we had fun with in games. You got the focus scroll.
Combat focus meter is filled when you fight well, use varied attacks, and avoid being hit. Oh, so if I do that, I get like more energy, like my magic stuff. Oh, it wants me to do this now. I'm gonna get hit by this guy so many times. Senior focus and enemies will drop Neos. I'm just gonna call them Neos. Neutral elemental orbs. Nobody wants to say that over and over again. After each successful hit, allowing you to maintain your magic supplies during combat until you lose focus. And then I get hit. <laughs> I hit again. That's nice. It's like yelling at me. Let me play the game how I want to play it. I don't care about my focus. Find a way to blow up this barrier. Oh my. You got a bomb for me? Grind a little bit there. NPCs in GTA. Oh, I'm sure they're hilarious there. I played a little bit of GTA 3 and they seem to be pretty ridiculous. I'm trying to think what other game has like NPCs that I absolutely love. There's a lot. The cyberpunk ones were pretty good. They were funny. I have to admit. Good jank NPC. Splatting them with the daggers. Come on, life orb. Gem. Oh, scroll boring. We don't want that. We want a freaking green life gem. At least a blue one.
guess we're not going in there. Going into the tree stump. Oh, okay. Let's see if we got anything good here. This holy cross thing that a lot of points. Two oh yes, two worlds, duh, of course. Two worlds, another another game that just nailed it with the NPCs. His prowess in battle is undeniable. He will need it now. Goblins there was one episode of Two Worlds on my playthrough where like I was in this town and everybody was just like so was yelling at me, scared of me like help, help us or something like get out of our town I was like well, I don't know why leave us alone I was trying to help them as they look into the eye of their quarry. Go, my friend, save your life. Go, my friend. Every time you open the inventory, mm. and like, even your own character in Two Worlds, had with, <laughs> he would like laugh my not maniacally after like killing like an animal. He'd be like fighting an animal and kill it. He'd be like, ha 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 ha. Die, Cretan, or something. I'd be like, what? This guy's evil. And then the, the noises some of the enemies make in two worlds. Arr! As you're like hitting them. <laughs> oh, that game. That game gives me nothing but joy. Nothing but joy. Of course, you know, there's the patented rain again and locked. Just some of my favorite character quotes from Two Worlds that I constantly. I have so many references to like video game quotes throughout my streams. You guys must hear. I mentioned locked probably like once every stream. And of course, it's a spider. Oh, hell no. Oof. Trick or treat. We're gonna have more of that chocolate bar. Thank you, GDP. I need the chocolate for the spider. Speaking of spiders, guys, I have a scary story. Oh, poop. I hope she's barking good. Kill it. We need to. The goblins. Yeah, the goblins in two worlds. So I recently saw. A black widow for the first time in the flesh. And it was scary. We went to Jesse's mom's and um, in her front driveway there, a little stone wall that connects the step up to the next yard. I saw a spider on a web and I'm like, hmm, what is that? I noticed it was black. And I, I got in closer because I saw a little mark. I was like, that's not a black widow, is it? And then I saw the hourglass on it, the red hourglass. I was like, holy shit. So Jesse, I freaked her out because I freaked out. <laughs> so she goes over, she sprayed it with something and it crawled away. She looked at it too and it was a black widow. It wasn't like the typical, like, there's like a couple different like looking black widows. There's the ones that have like a smaller abdomen. This was one that had the smaller abdomen. I, I was expecting to see the ones with the bigger abdomens. Like almost like a fat, fat bottom. Um, 
So she sprayed it, crawled off, it might have died. We don't know. All I know is we got it away. And it was pretty nerve wracking because that was like, I never wanted to see one of those in person. And we wanted to like kill it because in case like, you know, got in the house or something or, you know, her, her mom has a dog, you know, goes in the yard. I don't want the dog to get like attacked by it either. The realism of that spider is unnecessary. Exactly. We don't need realistic spiders up in here. I'm not happy with that. Uh, oh. Yeah, there's my controller. But yeah, that was a little story about Black Widow. And I had to, unfortunately, deal with. Although Jesse was the hero spraying it. <laughs> Black Widows aren't aggressive, though, so it's not like it would have attacked us. It was just sitting there, but like, yeah, you never know. And typically they're very reclusive, so I was, I was surprised to see one out in the middle of the day on a web just sitting there. But it's still scary. Knowing how dangerous they are. Dude, the spider is not dying. Jeez. Was it cool, the Black Widow? Have you not seen one in person? I mean, it, I guess, I don't know. It wasn't big. Black Widows, the, they, some of them were very small. This one wasn't very big. I mean, it was maybe the size of like a typical house spider, but you when I got up close to it and realized it had that red hourglass, that's when I like was like, oh shit, you know, I had that oh shit moment, like, oh my gosh. But like, I'm I like I'm like terrified of spiders, and also like I watch videos on them for some reason and read about them, so I learn more about them and their behaviors and their habits, so that way I can be better prepared. <laughs> um. If it was a black funnel web spider, which l luckily we don't have here in the States, those are crazy. Justice saved me from several spiders, actually. <laughs> there was another one in my room maybe about a couple weeks ago that she helped me try and find. It was a pretty big one. It got away. Then she went on my, then she went like a phone, she took like a phone call. Then I found it again later in the corner of my room. And I actually got rid of it, I sprayed it, and then vacuumed it up. <laughs> I managed to get rid of it, it was a pretty, pretty nasty one. I'm like, nah, I need help fighting them. You don't have them here. Yeah, I say Black Widows shouldn't be over there. They didn't, we didn't have them in Pennsylvania, and we didn't have them in... I don't know if they're in Massachusetts, maybe. I think Brown Recluse might be over there. You feel bad for them? You see most black widows when they live in Arkansas and Tennessee. Yeah, they like warmer climates. You've seen one black widow, tons of brown widows, an ungodly amount of brown recluses. Those are all very poisonous. In fact, I think brown widows are more poisonous than black widows. Be careful, Megan. <laughs> That's a lot of bad spiders to be seeing. Such a protector. She is a protector. She's gotta be when it comes to the spiders, cause I like, like I, you know, when I, I try to be brave, I'm like, I can't. I just, I, I, I can't do spiders. You feel bad cause they're a widow, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Let me send pics of all Lords of Shadow oil paintings. Yes, that'd be great. That'd be great. So I can spot them from this game. The areas. Bum bum bum. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a brown recluse. I saw one that might have been one a long time ago, but I was young. I don't think I knew what kind it was. But I know, I don't think I've ever seen a brown recluse. I don't want to see those. But black funnel web spiders are very poisonous. They're in Australia. 
They're nasty buggers. They're big. And they will literally stand up on their legs and show you their fangs. And like be like, back up, bitch. I'm going to get you. Like they are nasty. They got attitudes on them. Aggressive. So I'd rather actually let's see the, the black widows and the brown funnel web or the black funnel web spiders, whatever, from Australia. Because they are very poisonous and very nasty. So I don't want to go to Australia because they got all the nasty spiders and things over there. I'm sure it's beautiful in Australia. If I go, I'm going in like a bubble, protected from all the spiders. Dude, speaking of spiders. Man, I, uh, there's too much to focus on right now. Dead. Wow. Too much to focus on. <laughs> Even your your jokes. Friend got bit by a brown recluse and lost his pinky. What really? Did they have to like cut it off to stop the poison from spreading? Is that what it was? That's so scary. See, that's that sucks. I'm saying, like, it's no joke. Like, you wonder why I'm so freaking scared of spiders. Not only do I hate the way they look and the arachnophobia of all of it, but, like, just the fact that I know that there's some out there that are super dangerous. Dodging controls, are, I'm still getting used to because you have to hit L and A and the direction you want to dodge rather than just hitting like A or B or something. Spiders take a bit to kill. It's not as bad when the wolves aren't coming after you. Get all that back. Shoot. Damn it. A bit here. There you punk. Your spider sense ain't tingling anymore. Damn. Got her vag bit by a brown recluse <laughs> while she was sleeping, crawled up her shorts, nasty scar on her vag from that really sucks. That's like the worst place to get bit by anything. One time one was coming to eat me, I picked it up by its chin and smacked that bitch back and forth like I owned him. 
I'm sure. Wait, did you actually... Are you afraid of spiders at all, Dalton? Or do you actually face them like that? Weirdos like snakes? Me? I, I don't... I don't have a fear of snakes. I mean, I don't want to be around any big ones, but I used to have... Um... I used to have a pet snake. I don't mind, like, smaller snakes and stuff. They don't bother me. Like, big... Like, like anaconda-type snakes. Yeah, like, that would freak me out. I know there's a lot of poisonous snakes, too. Rattlesnakes. I don't want to deal with them. That would scare me. But, like, small snakes don't. See, even, like, small spiders scare me. But small gardener snakes and stuff, like, I don't... Doesn't really bother me. She had three tarantulas. Mm. Alright, the oil paintings, I got them. Let me download these pictures real quick, guys. Let me pick out my favorite from the, the five. Oh, um, oh damn, that one's good too. Oh, I don't know which one's my favorite of the five. I like the one that has like the red coming up in the front and then the background is all like white and foggy Uh, my favorite's probably the one with the cross in the front, where he's looking down with the moon in the background, the big moon. That's my favorite one, GDP, I think. That one's awesome. I just really like the colors there. They're all really, really good, of course. <laughs> oh man, those are good. Yeah, the one with him looking down in the field, over like the cross, and then you see the two. Like bats, I think, are flying around. Whatever creatures those are from the game. I haven't seen any flying stuff yet. Yeah, those are awesome. That one's probably my favorite, though. You guys don't have rattlesnakes? Um, in the deserts out here, we probably do. I don't go hanging around there, though, for rattlesnakes. I actually don't think I've seen a snake since I've been out here. Come to think of it, in the wild, I haven't. When I was in Massachusetts, I saw several. But here, I don't think I remember seeing one. The grossest thing I've probably seen out here, besides like a black widow, is a centipede. That was pretty nasty to see. It like went, literally like went right in front of me. Right where I was walking, crawled across really fast. Nasty big thing. Which I don't want to... I don't like those either, centipedes, like a millipede thing. No, I don't, I don't do those. Like... Some people don't like any bugs, which I get. Like if you're like, Jesse doesn't really like insects at all. And I get that. Like, there's... Like, I don't like cockroaches either, but I will, I'd rather see one of those than like a spider. I've dealt with cockroaches before, time to time, killing them or whatever, so. 
What is this that we need? Need to upgrade your combat cross. Oh, okay, so we can do that yet. Millipedes don't bite. What about centipedes, though? What I saw was definitely, I think it was a centipede. Elongated really polies. <laughs> I don't, I just don't, ugh, I can't with them in there. There's like the big, huge desert, like, centipedes, too. You guys ever see those? The ones that are like the size of a forearm? Like massive things. They're those bite, and they hurt. passed out I've ever saw one of those. Bugs that don't bother me are like like ants. Like as long as it's not like an overabundance amount of ants, I don't really care. Like flies, like they're annoying but they don't bother me. Moths again. They're annoying but they don't I'm not scared of them, they don't bother me. Silverfish, like I don't those I'm cool with. Inchworms, I love inchworms, they're cool. You know, there's a lot of bugs that really don't bother me at all. Find a way to blow that up. Oh, here we go. Stop throwing bombs at me. Jeez. Do these... could become a game of like managing my health dude they're bombs they just throw it at my face I don't have time I can barely see them coming at me here I need another one shit Toss that. Okay. A little bit of health back. A centipede will F you up. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. I don't, I wouldn't, I didn't want to mess with it. When I saw it, it froze in my tracks as it like squirmed in front of me, right in front of me, like super fast too. I was like, I wasn't having that. Got to upgrade those moves. I need a lot of. Uh, well, I'm trying to save up for this. Let's upgrade the guillotine, maybe. That would cost almost all my points. So I just have those ones. I want this holy cross move. I guess upgrading the guillotine might be good. Oh, okay, you know, I'm gonna get that upgrade for that one. We'll do that for now, for the guillotine. A runic stone key. Okay. Oh, gosh. Spider can stay there. Hydration, thank you, my friend. Can have some water. I got a little cup of water here now. Move on.
the water. Oh, Gabe. And there's going to be like a million things I'm going to miss throughout this, but you'd have to replay these levels probably several times to get, because there's like different paths and stuff. Replaying plenty to get all the things you need. We could try going over here. There's anything, take a quick peek. Another scroll. Oh, I need to use the keys. Okay, use the key. All right, so we have to explore here. All right. Gotta find the other key. It's probably up there somewhere. I gotta go back. Okay, let's go back this way. This is such a good game. Trick or treat from Dalton. All right, so we were working on the Hershey's bar. We still have that, but let's switch it up. I'm gonna have I still have some of these Belvita things. I'm gonna finish these off too. The Belvita snack bites, cinnamon brown sugar. There we go. Very nice. I also have these things, but I don't know if I'm gonna. These are big. These like Rice Krispie treat, home style chocolate ones are like freaking big. Of those. I also have granola bars for something a little bit healthier. Took you a long time to get 100%, 150%. I bet with the DLC and everything. I bet it did. So I think just doing the casual playthrough I'm doing is probably going to take a solid amount of time. Yo, welcome back, Star June. Thank you for stopping back in after your drive. I'll have a sip of the uh, Fizzy Pop from the Halloween Cup. I said this game right now is a little bit intimidatingly long. I don't know. I don't know if we'll finish this in October, to be honest. I don't know. I guess it depends on how much I stream it in the next week and a half, but... If we don't finish it in October, it's okay. We can finish it up in November. So we'll just keep it going until we finish it. Um, but Silent Hill, we should be able to finish. And if I start Evil Within, we should probably finish that too. Oh, shoot, there's another spider. Man, he's 
whooping me. These are the hardest, like, regular enemies so far. These big ass spiders. Yes. Finish him off. Man, all he gave me was daggers, too. Hey Stevie, you're streaming Outlast. Oh, cool. Heard those games are uh, quite creepy. I'm not playing them though, unfortunately. I heard about what happened with you guys in um, freaking Postmates. I'm sorry that sucks, but uh, yeah, I know people that have been scammed on those before. Yeah, this is the runic stone. This is the one I was looking for. Okay. Man, we need health so bad. I don't want to go in there if there's a boss. I'd rather go somewhere to, like, grind and find health, maybe. Because if it starts me off at a boss with this amount of health, there's no way. <laughs> Just gotta remember how I got there. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is perfect. Here we go. Yeah. yeah, how many Outlast games are there, guys? Is it like three of them or something? The first one always looked cool to me. Gotta make like a tree and go power up the dungeon man. <laughs> Mac like a tree, make that you enjoy this epic journey. Yeah, for sure, dude. Thank you for coming in, GDP. I appreciate you, man. Everybody follow him if you're not. Although I think like I said, most people that watch me are already following you. Definitely go check out the dungeon. We'll give him a shout out on here. Check out the dungeon during the hollow stream. I was in there the other night. It was a good time watching um, and play some goodies. Dead Space Extraction. That um, Mystic Bell game was really cool. Thanks for showing me the um, those oil paintings too. Those are really good from this game. Awesome stuff. Yeah, I like. It sucks, Stevie, because people will just be petty like that. I don't know why, but people are cruel. That's a shame. I said I do know somebody who was scammed out of a lot of money off of um. I don't know if it was Postmates or DoorDash. I don't remember. Outlast is great. I love it. Yes, I've heard great things about those those horror games. DoorDash. Yeah, I don't. I always use Postmates. I think I didn't really use much DoorDash or anything. Or Uber Eats. 
when I when I would order food, or when I order food, it's usually through Postmates, I think, but I don't order delivery that often anymore. I used to during like during more like, co like prominent COVID. But we have another upgrade here. Spike chain. So we used to saw through obstacles like the one we saw earlier. Yeah, but this game is, uh, yeah, it's got a lot going for it already. This area here looks very Castlevania-like, right? Like classic Castlevania. Wendy's gave you free drinks, that's good. Wendy's. Another place I have not been in in such a long time. I saw it. Magic gem apparently in that level one. Know where that is? Yeah, I like Wendy's too. I just I haven't eaten it in a long time. So he has found another of Gandalfi's upgrades. This was Gandalfi's. Though it should prove useful. Gandalfi the Grey or Gandalfi the White. The lost city of Aghata looms before him. I wonder if you know what truly lies ahead for you, Gabriel. What God has in store for you, the land of the Lycans. This ruined city now belongs to their Lord, and you can be sure he will not allow you to pass without forfeiture of your life. But in order to bring her back, you need to defeat him, my friend. You need to crush him into the dust, like the worm that he is. Crush him in the dust. Is that a, what is that, a geese? A geese, is that a goose? What is that thing? Get back here. What are you? No, you're, what are you? This guy's a strange bird. Come here. <laughs> Get back. Freaking peacock or... <laughs> I know I can't pick it up, but I want to believe. I want to believe that I can. Um. Uh -oh. oh, wait, I think I remember this part. I think you gotta get this thing to like ram into the door or something. Yeah. Freaking warthog. Come on. Give it to me, baby. Uh huh. Maybe not. Maybe I do something else. I thought I got him to ram the door. Um, maybe I just kill him. Doesn't 
doesn't seem to be working. Hey, thank you for the raid, Stevie. Thank you. After your Outlast stream. Maybe I get on the Warthog. Oh, here we go, yeah. That's right. Eight of more melee attacks. They could be used as a battering ram. Alright. Okay, we got this. We got this. But not before we have a little fun. Oh, shoot. Hey. And hydration. Yo, Stardew. The hype. <laughs> Warthogs. Okay, we're grinding here. I'll get to the hydration in just a moment. Dude, leave my warthog alone. Speed ahead. Let's take a run up. There we go. Okay. One more fella. Alright, the hydration here from Stevie. More of the water. So excited. Yeah, man. I Sound Hill is finally back, right? Like, freaking finally. Now we just gotta wait. <laughs> Hope they don't F it up like they do so many new, new games nowadays. You know, that come out with so many bugs. Imagine, like, a Silent Hill game with, like, tons of microtransactions and crap. That'd be awful. Yeah, keep it true to the series. That's all. That's all we, all, all we can ask for. And put him out of his misery, and we will climb. Climb the climb here. Finally, exactly. Zero Wing's been a lot of fun. A lot of fun, Stevie. Hope your October is going pretty well, too, as far as what you guys are doing. Uh, I went to a Halloween store. Of course, I think you saw that video on YouTube the other day. And then, um, been watching a lot of horror movies. Jesse and I just watched um, a new one on Netflix called The Curse of Ridge Hollow with uh, Wild and Wayne's, and it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. It was certainly a lot of fun. Had a great Halloween feel to it, of course. I've been watching as many horror movies as I have time for. Of course, streaming a lot as much as I possibly can. I was going to stream last night because I was going to be, I was able to, but I was just, I was so tired. <laughs> it was like, I wouldn't have lasted very long. I'd been off in like two hours or less probably last night if I had gone on. Good games on the horizon. Street Fighter, Sound Hill, Resi. Yeah, well, they're going to be... It's what I'm saying. It's, 
It's going to be a good generation for Series X and PS5, you know, to release some games. Switch, you know, still has great games coming out, too. And, and who knows what Nintendo's going to be putting on another console out anytime soon. Just like Shulk mentioned earlier, Breath of the Wild 2 is certainly an anticipated one, like crazy. Right. That's good, trying to watch some horror movies. You watch Nightmare Before Christmas? Yeah, I think, I think Jesse wants to watch that one too. I haven't seen that in a long time. I would like to see it again. I have some of the usual horror movies I watch. The Hollow, <laughs> Idle Hands, usually Night of the Living Dead, Goosebumps with Jack Black. Um, probably watching those. Probably watch Casper. Uh, Jesse wants to watch Coraline too. I, I've never seen Coraline, so. I like. That's probably pretty good. Whole game wrong. Oh, really? They gotta come down now? Hang on just a moment. Shite, come on. Alright, let's try this again. Silent Hill 2 remakes only PS5. Oh, really? Oh, interesting. Well, didn't, yeah, didn't, like, PlayStation buy the rights to, like, that franchise? So the other ones could end up being PS5 exclusives, unless they're just saving that one for exclusive. I mean, that's fine. Like I said, I'm not going to be playing that one. But... For PS5 owners, that's gonna be that's gonna be good. Another good reason to have the console. All the other ones are. I mean, I, I want to get a PS5 either way. That's it. Come on, I'm gonna kill a couple more of these guys to get some experience. The Ghostbusters remastered. Oh yeah, I heard the Ghostbusters game. That one was supposed to be good. There's uh there's a new Ghostbusters game that's coming out in like a few days, I think. The multiplayer one. But the re that that Ghostbusters game that you got is um I've heard good good things about it. I just haven't been able to try it out. It was originally out in like the 360, then they remastered it. Sony's forking out that money for them. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Too bad they couldn't fork out money to like produce more consoles so they could, people could buy them. That's the only one. I can't imagine they'll make all four for PS5 only. Yeah, that'd be pretty rough. It would be rough. But. I think like Xbox isn't a console that you think about for Silent Hill either. You think about PlayStation, right? When you think about Silent Hill. You think about PlayStation most of the time. That's like the first system that comes to mind, you know. Even though it's Sound Hill. Shattered Memories is on the Wii. You, you had 360 had, you know, Downpour and Homecoming. Uh, Xbox, original Xbox had Sound Hill, The Room. But, I don't know, it seems like... It seems like, um... It 
it's more of a PlayStation franchise, right? They're not coming back, those wolves. Yeah. Is that troll dude up there? Is that a one? That game's on sale. Oh, the uh, Ghostbusters one, yeah. I passed you in followers? <laughs> Did I? I have more followers than you. How is that possible? How is that possible? Mr. He Who Never Streams. You. Or who streams once in a month. <laughs> you actually have a pretty good amount of followers, though. I said I'm close. Yeah, I'm like, I, I can't be ahead of you yet, huh? Because I know you got a bunch, dude. What we got here? PS5, you're not getting it unless it's free one day. Yeah, I don't think that's ever going to be free, unfortunately. The, um, <laughs> I want one for free. You can win one, maybe. No, PS5 is too expensive. I mean, yeah, because they, didn't they raise the price of that? Series X, I was lucky to get from my brothers, but... Um, I said, if, if I have the money and the opportunity to get a PS5, I will get one. Like, I will easily get one. I would love to. Because there's the games I want to play on there, and I would like to have another next-gen console. Plus, like, I don't... I just don't buy a lot of PlayStation consoles. still want to get the 3 and the 4. I'd love to get a PS4, but... That's still down the line. It's a dagger bag. Five twenty one. See, that's good, man. Well, you just had to restart your channel, Stevie. So you had more than that before. So remember, you had to restart your channel. You will get to fifty for sure. Cause you're, uh, yeah, you're pretty consistent with your streaming too. So. Target barely any PS4 games. Yeah, they're going to start... You're not going to see as much. I mean, for a few years, still, you'll see plenty of PS4, Xbox One games, but three, four years from now, um, yeah, you're going to see mainly just used games from that system, much like you would see... Because, look, you don't see any 360 games anymore, do you? In, like, Target or GameStop. Not typically. PS3 games, you have to go to like game shops. something with this, I bet. What's this guy doing? Hey, he's got the he's got the, the lever I need. You punk. Big dude. Yeah, you'll get, yeah, we'll sure get there, Stevie. The good news now is that it's probably a decent time to collect and buy games for PS4, Xbox One, because the prices of them, you know, especially the ones that are like four or five years old, are going to go down because. Everybody wants the PS5 and the Series X games. And since Xbox One and PS4, you know, that stuff's not retro yet, so... 
Uh, it'll probably go on sale. Damn, this guy's whooping me. Why am I doing so bad against him? Another camera for the PS4. You want to get a new Xbox One after you get a new laptop? Yeah, that's fair. Computer comes first. I'm gonna need to get a new Xbox One myself, actually, which I'm kind of like, kind of sweating because I mean, I've had my Xbox One since 2014. And it has like so many miles and miles on it. Like I use it, I use it almost every day because I use it for like apps like Twitch, YouTube, um, and stuff like that. Uh, not all my apps, just like you know Twitch and YouTube, basically. And then uh, you know I played a lot of games on there, I streamed a lot of games on there. And now it's just it's the disk drive that just doesn't read anything. Games get stuck in there. So, maybe I could take it somewhere to get a fix. I don't know how much it would be, though. Or I just have to get a new system altogether and just transfer the hard drive. But, that's what happens when you use your stuff. <laughs> Eventually, it wears out, right? Like anything. When you use something enough, it's going to wear out. Can't expect my consoles to just remain in pristine condition for as long as I have them, you know, because especially if I'm using them, you know, they're going to get, they're going to get, they're going to get the problems like a car would have or something. So, yeah, I had, I had a lot of time with it, you know, it's like I'm still going to be using it. You know, I can still play some digital stuff on there, uh, at least for now, but I don't know, I'm kind of like, I haven't put a game in it in like maybe two, three weeks. So I'm kind of <laughs> skeptical to put another one in there to see if it'll read. Because it was reading some games and then other games it wasn't reading. And then and then, then games started to get stuck in there, like flat out stuck. So I had to like fish them out and like scratch them up almost to get them out. That's what I don't want. It's one thing for it not to read it, but for it to get stuck in there is, is a big problem. It is a labyrinthine maze of dead ends and forgotten. So if we play the Evil Within this month, I'll probably, uh, luckily it's on the Game Pass, so I'll just, um, play it digitally like that. It's a risk not having this get stuck in the system. He will need all his wits to find an alternative route into the heart of the city. Heart of the city. Nothing is built to last, exactly. It's just like, well... It's gonna go eventually. So my PS2 gives me a little bit of problems now. Obviously my 360. Um, I mean, it, the 360 reads games great, and the system has been awesome. I mean, again, the 360 has a lot of miles on it too. But it, it's that hard drive that just gets loose every now and then. The system just turns off abruptly. So I never know when that will happen. It could happen like, right now during this stream, during this game, for all I know. But, you know, my Switch works, has been working great. My N64 works great. Sega Genesis works great. NES works great. Series X, of course. Said so other than the hard drive problem, my 360 works pretty damn good still, considering how old it is and... How many miles this has on it? My Wii works great. Dreamcast I have now works great. My old one started having troubles with the laser disc. But... Uh, 
So the GameCube I have is one that didn't work before. My brother sent it to me anyways to see if it would, if it would work any better, but um, it, again, that one, it doesn't work 100%, so I don't use that. I don't know if you can trade systems in that are like broken and get like store credit or something, because maybe they use them for parts. I wouldn't mind doing that with like maybe my GameCube. And then at my Xbox One, if I ever get another one. fighting these freaking things. There we go. Oh, shoot. Mount the spider. Now we're riding a spider. Which I would never do either. <laughs> Longest living organism is today, how old would you say? Long as a living organism, zero is the answer. What? Your PC went out, it was sold from sold from 2009. Yeah, see that's that's a long life. Like my laptops laptops usually don't even last that long either. Like I need a new laptop myself. This one's only from like twenty seventeen. And it's it's banged up and it's falling, literally falling apart and just doesn't run great. Um, with, cer with certain things, I guess, but, you know, I'm getting every inch I can out of it. I'm riding a freaking spider here. Gem, okay. I was like, what did it drop? Nothing else over there. This is a very fall looking area right here. Megan says, I'm built to last. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm old. I can barely even, like, walk to the to the kitchen without getting winded. <laughs> How old is the longest living organism, like right now? Oh, I, I don't know, like... I don't even know what it would be. I'm gonna say... It's gotta be hundreds, hundreds of years, right? Well, since I lost for about eight seconds, yeah. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. Way to hang in there. <laughs> Best eight seconds of their life. I need a new laptop. I do. I do. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely do. It's freaking. The the screen is literally cracked, almost like falling. Like half the screen. You know, has the part that folds. Well, the part that folds. One end of it is completely broken off. The other end is still attached. So I have to like, I can't move it around very much. And if I do, I can't, I have to be so careful with it. So I try not to move it like at all, which is really annoying. I have to keep it up on this little table I have next to me here where I stream. And it, it'll like fall. So I have to have it like prop something behind it so it doesn't fall over. It's like, it's a mess. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh look, we can still straighten here from it, so it's like... It's a shame, because if like the back wasn't falling apart, it would be alright still, kind of, you know, it's still... It doesn't run the best, but it's, it's, it's good enough for what I need at the moment. It's just like the, the whole the screen part is just breaking off, but I'm careful with it, so, it, so I try not to move it around that much to put more stress on it. But even if the screen goes away, I think I can hook in maybe the HDMI to a TV to still get the screen up. Maybe. Seaforce, approximately 200,000 years. Okay, well, alright, well, I was off by a couple hundred thousand. The Seaforce? like what like kelp underneath the sea oh well, yeah I mean the sea has some like ancient creatures in there anyways too that have probably been around for actually for a long time what am I, what am I thinking Found any life orbs in a long time, and the game just isn't throwing them at me anymore. Oh gosh, this is—I'm getting PTSD from Catwoman with this wall swinging. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, at least this one actually works. <laughs> oh goodness me. A sprawling seagrass meadow 10 miles long near Spain ranks as the oldest known single organism on Earth, according to genetics, genetics, geneticists, Poisdonia oceania, known as Neptune's grass, is uh, endemic to the Mediterranean Sea, but a patch near the island of Fermentera, self-cloned like Pando, stands out for its age, estimated at 200,000 years. So seagrass... Is almost I'm almost as old as seagrass. You're saying, damn. Konami really said make Castlevania, but God of War, and they did. I know exactly. They did a damn good job of it too. Wait, Dev? No way, man. I'm sorry, man. How many dates did you go on with her? I know you said you had been dating somebody. Dude. I'm sorry, dude. And I'm dead. Damn close to, uh... To the seagrass, yeah. Very close. One day I'll get there. When the seagrass dies, I'll take over as the oldest living organism on Earth. Last date was the Halloween Ends movie. Oh. 
Don't get any idea there, what? Of murdering the seagrass so I can be the oldest? This is going to be tough without health here. Damn it. As tough as all the other enemies that are attacking at the same time. Oh, come on. I was in the middle of a move and he freaking did that. <laughs> I'm like, I'm on my way to Spain. Freaking, how dare you be older than I. What was that? At least you save money. Uh, well, like... If it's a few dates and they're already giving up, like, on a... That just shows that they probably didn't want any kind of commitment. So I wouldn't... And you may have saved from getting hurt further down the line. So there's always different things out there. You can always find something that's gonna be, end up being better. On to the next. Yes. You can find. Oh my gosh, why can't he make this jump? I lose like half my health. I'm just gonna die. Look at me, it took me like 80 years to find somebody like Jesse, so. <laughs> but you know, but the thing is, some people can come into your life, you know, when you don't even expect it, or like people could be in your life, and maybe they're, you know, you could try, and maybe it's just not the right thing, or it's not the right person for you, for each other. Finding the right person is, you know, obviously it's going to be, <laughs> it is, it is a journey. here. Dude. Hate their attacks. Yeah, it's like so sporadic. Uh. Did I kill him? Oh, thank goodness. Can't find anyone you like. Yeah, see, it's it's stuck sometimes. It really is. Yeah. You just can't expect to find somebody like every time you try or every time you're putting yourself out there or every date or every every person you talk to. You can't expect it to be what you're looking for. And you're putting too high expectation, not only on that person, but on yourself too, to like to find something. You can't find someone who likes me. Oh, of course, I know tons of people like you, Dalton, like Selena Gomez, right? 
Brenda Song. They've been talking about you. You didn't see, haven't seen their interviews on Jimmy Kimmel? They've been like, oh, yeah. Manly Genius. 101. I want him to teach me something. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Stevie. See ya. Dev is the beautiful bastard. If you had ovaries, I would date you. <laughs> Amen to that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'll teach him. Yeah, you gotta find, you know, it's a support to it. It's a team effort thing, a relationship. This troll's really trying to rip my guy in half. How am I gonna do this? No help. Dude, stop jumping. I hate like getting to these boss things and like having like no help to fight them with. It's happening constantly now. I'm just so careful here. Damn it. Dead. There's so many things to fight. Dude, this is only the second chapter. It better be able to beat you in a Duke and War, you don't want her. That's your that's your terms. You had a marvelously stupid idea. I get those quite frequently. What's yours then? Let's try this bastard again. I don't care about the cutscene. Like, he immediately grabs you. Which is cheap to begin with. Oh, the dodge is like it's a three button input. That's what, I, that's what I have struggled with. That's why I can't dodge that well. It's like most games, the dodge is just like one button. This you have to hit L, A, and point the direction you want to dodge too. And, and you have to tap it. Like. Sometimes I end up jumping by accident. Should have just made it one button. I don't know what one button that would have been, but something. You're gonna make a 24-hour video where you shoot a Dukins till you can't shoot Dukins anymore, <laughs> and the dev says I can't wait to binge drink this weekend. It's gonna be a a drinking weekend. For me.
Hopefully I can stream this weekend. You can come in and hang out and binge drink with, with us. Well, I don't know if I'll have anything to drink here, but... Man, I'm, this fight is just annoying me. There's too many enemies. Too many crazy attacks coming in at once. And like, their, their actions cancel out yours. So if I'm in the middle of doing an attack, like even one of my special ones, their attack will just cancel it and hit me. See, like that. Dude, there's too many of them. on from every side. I wish they would give you full health when you get spawned back in. It's like it sucks you're stuck with like a quarter of your health. Man, they don't make it easy. Isn't that cool how it pauses though? Like see how the cutscene, it pauses into the book wherever you are like that, isn't it? That's really cool. Fifty of these guys pound on me at once. Oh my gosh. coming back to hit me. The little ones. Wow, we we are stuck here. <laughs> American dream indeed. What did you have for dinner tonight? Dodging mechanic looks more responsive than evil deads though. <laughs> The evil deads can be very tricky. What game did I play recently that had like a terrible dodge that I was like annoyed with? It was like something very recently, I can't remember what it was. Some game that just had like an awful dodge. Might have been. Was it Inversion? Maybe it was Inversion or that G.I. Joe game or something that we played in September. Man, I can't remember. I gotta have like a really good fight here in order to beat this with the health. Ah, that's the other thing. He will charge you down from off the screen and hit you out of nowhere and deal some heavy damage. And then he does that. Just wrecks you. Dude. I don't have a problem with the dodge itself in this game, it's just the input for it is very unintuitive, I think. This doesn't feel natural to me, I guess. Like, for me, it would feel like B would be like, you know, a normal dodge button, but 
they use that for the daggers so there's that one game with the red wall fighting areas the red wall fighting areas says Megan yeah well. was it a horror game this one? No. Game had a bad dodge. The walls are red and see through. What the heck, what could that have been? I play so many damn games, I'm like, which game is that? What systems were we playing recently? Genesis, we played a couple things. Series X, we played the medium. Might have been a 360 game, right? PS2, we were playing Kingdom Hearts. Playing NHL 98. I think it might have been... It might have been Inversion or G.I. Joe. It must have been one of those games. Pull the cord out of the monsters and you rage quit the final boss. It's never played ever again. Oh, you're, oh my goodness. You're talking about, um... You must be talking about... Orphan, right? Is that the game you're talking about? Dev is not here. And we have a trick or treat. And De Dalton says, I made chicken with lemon pepper on it, regular pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, top of the sprinkle, a sprinkle of mozzarella cheese. And on top of that, put a little concoction of lettuce, garlic, olive oil, feta cheese, mozz cheese, and lemon juice, all smashed up. Delicious topping. Well done, me. Wow. Wow. That one was the chef's kiss. Actually, that sound really good. Lemon pepper chicken. Let me get to the trick or treat. We're going to have more of this chocolate bar. Hershey's um, white chocolate, red, white, and blue thing. Whatever. The dodge was not existent in that game. Yeah, Orphan is the, is the worst combat. Maybe in any game ever. Not being serious. Like, <laughs> the combat. In uh, Cat One might be better, honestly. More doable, anyways. I don't know. Dalton, come feed me. Yeah, exactly. Well, ooh, concert on the 29th. Who's that gonna be? I could do without the baby tomatoes. I don't like tomatoes. I like whole tomatoes like that. They gotta be like mushed in like a sauce if I'm gonna eat a tomato. Then again, I'm a pretty picky eater, so. <laughs> Look at the food porn he just posted. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna watch Zero in concert? Yeah. I'd have to pay him to come see me. I have to pay anybody to come see me. The thing is, this wouldn't be so bad if these guys didn't keep respawning the little ones. They're what throw me off. Like I can't, I can't focus on his attacks when I'm constantly trying to dodge them and attack them. Like, I'll be in the middle of a combo against them, and then he will just do his smash, and there's nothing I can do about it. The Coffin Cats and Three Bad Jacks. Never heard of that. It sounds like the name of, like, a ska band. Well, I'm guessing it's not ska. The Mighty Mighty Boston's. And then he 
I, he corners me, and then there's 50 more of them. And anytime I try and collect the energy, I'm like, I'm a sitting duck. So, like, that's again, that's what sucks, too. It's like, I have to, like, constantly be moving. You have to click in the stick to get this energy so that you can heal. Have any chance of healing, anyway. Some healing, there we go. Okay. No, no, no. Why won't this guy die? Come on! These little ones are killing me. Oh, finally. Alright, now we got him. X and Y are attacks. You're going to pay the troll toll. A little minor grinding here. Never heard of them either, but you like new things. Oh, so you never heard of them. I'm gonna go check them out. That's cool. I don't know if I've been to a concert. I don't know the band. I mean, I've seen opening acts that I don't know, and then I end up liking them. Sometimes more than the band that I went to see. <laughs> this is so God of War, yeah. You would throw me your skid row tiny whiteies if you saw me in concert. Goodness, I better be better be prepared. I was pretty good at dodgeball in high school, so I can dodge things pretty good. I think I'm gonna cook that this weekend because it looks so damn perfect. Yeah, you know, she wants the lemon chicken now. Making her now. You guys are making me hungry now. Time for my fourth meal. <laughs> now you're going to make more. Wow, okay. Can you get me some now? If I ever get a P.O. Box uh, doll, and I want you to send me some of that chicken. Just cook it up, put it on a plate, set, ship it out. And I'll open up my P.O. Box and be like, ooh, yes, some chicken. Oh no, is this thing dying? I did buy more batteries the other day because I need. I bought a big pack of them, double A ones. Cause like I should get more chargers for my controllers. The only one I have chargers for is my my Switch controller and my Xbox One controller. Like my Wii remotes, my 360 controllers, my Series X controllers. They need batteries, double A batteries. Grind away to get me some more. Discord, I know. 
Zero he needs to get back on Discord. <laughs> If the Discord will let me back on there. On that server, anyways. So I think I took it off my phone because it wouldn't let me get into that server. As I said, it was like, whatever I signed in as, it was linked to an old Discord. I don't even know what the sign-in was or anything. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work we go. There we go. That's a checkpoint. Wait, now this. Did we come here before? Here, werewolf. Now it's zero in time. Another one of these? Big ones. Uh, every fight is becoming a big enemy with some minions while I struggle. See, like, I try and do my combo moves and they just break it up. What's the point of even having, like, man, I need to get to action and get to my move list. What's the point of having some of these moves and you can't even pull them off? Because they just... They just break them up so easily. I'm gonna get this thing. This seems useful. Hold Y. Let's see if it even works. There we go. Okay. Discord, either Stevie. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think it's a good thing. Um, I don't know. I just I used it a few times on my old profile. Now, like, I don't keep my password saved on Google. Oh no, I don't even. Like I said I didn't have. I had Discord on my phone. I think it was on my PC at one point, but I don't know if it's still there. I'll save all my passwords on Google. <coughs> Some of them are saved in the sites and stuff, but. No. saying here put it back in pull it out put it back in what are we, what are we talking about now I thought we were talking about passwords we got the we about to get real freaky in here freaky naughty as always we like the freaky deaky we keep it spicy we like the spice <laughs> Went from passwords to freaky deaky real fast. Ugh, another spider. Gosh. Why? Don't do it. Yeah, I hope you fall. I hope you fall. Damn it. Of course he didn't. At least it's just him and not minions. Still, it's gonna be a tough fight. Oh, 
Again, I try and get a combo off, like... It's tough. Like, you try and do one of your super moves and... They could just freely hit you out of it, anytime. Oh wait, you know what? Maybe just... Hang on. It's just the trigger and the direction. Okay, I was doing the dodge wrong the whole time. Okay. I'm stupid. Before it told me A and arrow and L was the dodge. Now I guess it's just the trigger. Oh, and you know, obviously which direction. But is that is that true? Your teachers doing parent teacher comments. <laughs> that spider's ass looking like a shriveled ball sack. That is a pretty accurate description. You could see me being a dry teacher. You want me to be a teacher? No. Jesse's a teacher, not me. Remember, Jesse teaches the makeup classes. Me, what, what am I gonna teach? I guess I could teach kids how to not use social media. <laughs> section to get through over and over again, huh? See? And then they die, they block. They just hit you out of every animation that you're doing. It's kind of frustrating. I know, just, just let them kill me because we're not going to survive without... Teacher, how how could I teach math? I I'm very little with math. I'm not good with numbers. Did you guys just see my arm on two screams at once? What did you? How? How did you see my arm on two screams? What are you talking about? Armception. Anti-social studies. <laughs> I like that one. Alright. My gosh. I'm just diving, there's just like I'm already dodging. I can see this game's gonna get really hard later. Hey, look at. I, I can't do any of my special moves. I just can't pull them off. It's very frustrating. Anytime I start one, they just hit me out of it. So it's like, I'm not even gonna get any more advanced moves, to be honest. I think I'm just gonna, like. I just spend my money on the relic power, something that's going to help me boost the fighting rather than just give me a new toy to play with. Kick him in the in the balls. I just feel like every time I go to use one of the advanced moves, I just I, I can never finish it. 
Because there's the enemy just attacks you. And it's not like you can like stun them and then do it. Which would have been nice. But... Oh boy, alright, let's fight the spider again. Lift my arm up again, what, like this? Or this? Which arm was it? Which arm did you see double of? <laughs> Are you okay, Dalton? Are you binge drinking now? Anti-school. I have to do a blood test tomorrow. I can't drink anything tonight. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't want anything in your system. What if it wasn't werewolf arm and my arm at the same time? Maybe. Maybe. Might have been. I was doing the motion for the werewolf. Or maybe there's something in the room with me that we don't know about yet. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is the beginning of a Horror Night episode. Perhaps there's something here. Perhaps it was Zeke. Star June is redeemed. Trick or treat. Let's have. Hmm. What should we get? Let's have, let's get started on one of these granola bars. Trick or treat from Star June. Because we have. I have some of these like. Okay. Um, Spanish, not Spanish, Mexican candies um, left, but they like hurt your gums, I'm not kidding, they like actually hurt your gums to eat those, because the texture of them, and then I think I have a few Krabby Patties left, and the Vampire Blood, <laughs> no, I can't anymore, we had our fair share of that, there's like a couple of Vampire Bloods left. Granola bars for trick or treat, yeah, exactly. What you wouldn't want if you were a kid, you wouldn't have liked like granola bars. Come on, dude. If they were throwing like raspberry, oh no, mixed berry Nutrigrain bars, I'm been happy with that. I love those. But I'm trying to eat a little bit less candy the rest of this month. The first half of the month, I went crazy with the candy. Here now, I'm like. Trying not to eat as much of it, cause I know. I mean, once November comes, I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna eat candy at all again. Like, I just don't eat candy the whole year usually. Every once in a while, I eat candy, but over the past, I don't know, five, six years, I just haven't had as much candy as I would have when I was a kid. I guess I just don't crave candy that much. What are you, 30? Maybe. No granola bars for you guys? Some grandma gave him those granola bars. Hey, yeah. I worked hard for these. Trick or treating around. Ah, oh, the spider's back. You'd be hyped for actual snacks instead of candy, yeah. Trick or treat, here's your granola bar, yeah. <laughs> Come on. We don't want those Quaker Oats Chewies. What kind of candy do you like, Stevie? Which ones are some of your favorites? I do like, there are some candies I really love. I love, like, York Peppermint Patties and Junior Mints, like those mint chocolate ones. I love that. Um, I love these here. I have these peanut butter on the too. I love Reese's Pieces. There's a lot of candies, yeah, I really, really do enjoy, but just don't eat it that often. <laughs> so once uh, once Zero Ween's over, obviously the candy dish goes back in the closet, and uh, won't be eating as much candy for sure. Give me those fruit snacks, those granola bars, those almonds.
Scooby Snacks. I want to kill this thing. This is me not doing any of my special attacks. Look at this. I fight so much better when I'm not trying to do a fancy attack. Because you just don't have the time to get them off. That's my advice, guys. If you play the game, some of the fancy attacks you don't, you just don't need. I mean, some of them are probably really useful, but maybe later in the game. Yeah. Yeah, we've been poisoned, though. Am I gonna survive? Look at the way this thing crawls around. Yuck. Yorks of the bomb.com. They are. York Bomb Patties, they're so freaking good. I love those. Anything really you eat candy all year round. <laughs> this dude probably likes Almond Joy and Lorna Dune cookies. Almond Joys aren't that bad. Honestly, <laughs> Lorna Dune cookies, I don't know about that. Uh, Cause I'm not like a big chip guy either, like I don't eat a lot of potato chips. Um, I'm like, I'm a sweet person, so when I'll eat like cookies, like cakey type things like that. Um, those are like my, my niche. And like granola bars, I like Nutri-Green bars. Rice Krispie Treat type things are also good. Um, there are some chippy things I, I do like, but I'm less savory, more sweet. Um, I do love chocolate though. I gotta say, I love chocolate. <laughs> I'll make sure to put them in before I eat. Yes. No problem. No problem, Stevie. You love candy corn? I don't mind candy corn. I've had some this, this month. I have a little bit left here in this bag. Just like the pumpkin ones are left, I think. Um, I didn't eat all that bag, but... Candy corn is... Uh, yeah, it's, it's alright. I don't, I don't hate it at all. Target only had two rows of PS4 games. Yeah, they're... You're not going to see as much physical games in stores either, I think. Unfortunately. Like... Target still sells CDs, surprisingly. Which I love. Oh well, yeah, physical games aren't going to be in... A lot of other places besides... GameStop, probably, and game shops. Prune juice? I, <laughs> does anybody like prune juice? I, I don't like that. Do you want some prune juice? Shadow magic. Attacks made while active will inflict more damage at the cost of shadow magic. So this is a damage one. So that's all you need there. Now we have both kinds of magic. A 
What? Need to use shadow magic. Oh, I need something different for my shadow magic? Oh my gosh. Now you right click to fill that up. So this is going to get confusing as hell in the, <laughs> in the flow of a big fight when you're having to manage both those bars and your health bar. Left click to get the light energy, right click, uh, Right click to get the dark energy. LB to activate one, RB to activate the other while doing your moves, dodging, and trying to heal. Whew. It's going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky to manage all that. Use light to replenish health, use them to take more damage. Yeah. Now they're gonna test me. They'll start focusing on the PS6 in about a year, costing people 1k. That barely, barely works, yeah. I know, it's like they're selling PS5 games. But who the hell has a PS5 like besides Dalton, right? <laughs> I actually think I know three people that own a PS5. One of them is Dalton, who I've never met. And then my brother, one of my brothers has a PS5. Only one of them. And then Jesse's brother has a PS5. I think that's the only people I know personally that have a PS5. Maybe more of you viewers do have it. Maybe some of you guys have them. I don't know. I know, it's like they're probably already starting to develop PS6. Like, <laughs> or they're thinking about it, I'm sure. So like that'll be the time I'm able to get a PS5, like for real. But you know, because look, at like I might only be able to get a PS4 now. The PS5 is out. Everybody wants that. So, uh, whatever. I, w I, I would not mind at all getting a PS4 and waiting a few years to get a PS5. And then just playing a bunch of the PS4 games I missed out on. That's a cool camera angle there, although I can't tell how to move my character there. Whoa. These are the parts of the games I really, I really enjoy more is like this climbing, platforming parts. Oh, that was the end of the level. I was like, what? Dalton has um has one of those PS fives, right? Yeah, the only, only, only ones I know. Man, this is this is so long. We're still in chapter two, and look how many levels we have left. Damn, this game is going to be long. I don't think we're going to beat this in October, world, but it didn't take long unless I literally stream it. The Constantly for the rest of the month, but I'm not going to want to burn myself out in this game. I want to enjoy it. I want to actually take my time and enjoy the game. So this one might actually go into November, which is fine. 
And then the people were massacred one by one, or were turned into beasts subservient to their new conqueror. None now remain to tell the tale. Like, Target doesn't even have PS5s either. That's the funny thing, they sell the games, they don't even have PS5s to sell. <laughs> I saw a GameStop near me had a PS5, but they had it like behind the counter and they were waiting to do like some giveaway or something. And that's it. I was like, well, that's great. The problem is the resellers that will sell it for like double the price. They're the ones that'll try and snatch it up. What are we looking at? What in the hell are we looking at right now? Yeah, we'll try and snatch it up and then sell it for double the price to get like an extra, you know, boost to it. Wait. Dang, okay, she can do like crazy flips and stuff. Is she a Belmont? Is she a Belmont too? With those moves? <laughs> hey, you like that? Now we are getting freaky deaky. This area is really pretty. Like each level's like decently length. And like fully detailed with stuff like it's pretty crazy. This is a big, big game. Like I said, we're only halfway through chapter two. There's still like four more levels or something left in this chapter of what twelve chapters full of levels. That's why it's a two disc game. Look at that right there. Good music here too. I don't think we can go over there. Yeah, PS5 games, are, uh, some of them cost 70, I know, it's crazy. Crazy that games are getting that expensive. Even some Series X games are 70. It's like we can't even afford the $60 games. What makes you think we're going to be spending $70 for every new game that comes out? My goodness. Inflation really sucks, doesn't it, guys? Like, it is terrible. Like, this is the worst inflation I've ever seen in my life. And it's like... And I've lived a long life. You guys know how old I am. I'm old. And, um... The, the, the raise of prices on so many things is just out of control. And, like, nobody's really getting paid anymore. Like, any, anything more than normal, you know? It's like, minimum wage, let's raise that. But then you raise the price of everything else, so what's the point? And then it's just like, craziness. People can't even live anymore. They can't afford to live. And then in our country that has premium health care you have to pay for, college you have to pay for, when in other countries, health care is free, even schooling is free, you know, because they want their people to get an education and be smart, not here, they just want your money, <laughs> we just want your money, that's all we care about, 
We don't want you to get better. We just want your money. Oh, good night, Megan. Thank you for coming in. Thanks for the laughs and hanging out. Always a pleasure. Take care of yourself, Megan. Be safe. Be safe and enjoy. Sweet dreams. Have some good dreams. Try not to dream too much of Dom. I know it's hard. The quarry is 40 for the PS4. And PS5 is 10 or 20 bucks more. Yeah, it's because, like, they push the price. Because they think, because it has, like, slightly better graphics, that it's worth, like, 10 to 20 dollars more. It's, it's really ridiculous. Like, if there's not any huge changes in the game, then they shouldn't be charging that much more. That's just them wanting to get more money, that's all. You could never live alone at the rate I get paid. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's it's so hard. It's so hard for anybody to like make a living with anything these days. We all just do the best we can. That's why I say it time and time again. If you're not rich, you're poor. It's the truth. The rich out there, they don't even, they have no idea what it's like, so. There are some good people out there that are rich, you know, there's people out there that are rich and probably are really grateful and appreciative of what they have, which is nice. And then I'm sure there's, there's the rich that take it for granted and wouldn't know any other life, so. It's tough for the middle lower class. I can't push this. You going to bed as well, my friend? Dalton says good night. He's going to sleep. Now you're making me tired thinking about that. But Dalton, thank you for coming in, man. I appreciate you as always, dude. Congrats on the uh, the the partnership thing too. That's really good. You need to get a new power adapter. For uh, what is that going to be for? I can't jump this distance on my own. He has his whip that he uses to cling on to everything and now he can't use it for this. Come on, Gabriel. Oh, for the VR. A creature to mount so we can make that jump.
How much do those um do those adapters go for? You lost that one. Oh, five bucks. Okay, that's... That is doable. Oh, we gotta kill this guy first so we can mount him. Right, yeah, so the dodge is actually just the trigger. Earlier I was like complaining because it was like... It told me before I thought it was L and A with joystick but now it's during one of the boss fights it was like A into the, the joystick now it's just L that works a lot better now so I can learn how to use it better There we go. Destroy this. Turn it down a little bit. Oh, anyone? So you don't think you have to buy like a Sony specific one? Which is good. Twelve volt one will be decent. Is it for the headset? Not the actual VR. Well, the VR is a headset, but so it just charges and plugged in. Huh? Can't like battery operated either. If you needed to. There's another one of these troll fights. Uh, I'm looking forward to this. Die. All right. Okay. Throw out the cavalry. K 
cap. This is. I'm afraid to dismount this guy because what if I need him to fight down? Oh! Guess it's too late. Let's me get back up. Battery operated out. So you gotta plug it in. Destroy everything they got down here. Alright. here and get this. All that for just a scroll. I was hoping it would be something really good. Wait, what was... There was something down there. It's a health thing. Can't break it open on my own. Oh shoot. What do I need? Did I need to use the troll to get that? I don't think the troll can destroy that door though. Come um, whoops. No. Where's he going? Let's go this way. There we go, finally another one of those. Now we just need four more to freaking increase our health a bit. But now I'm kind of stuck because that's the door I need to get through. But we don't have a creature to do so. back. Okay, I guess we got we got definitely gonna have to use him then. Damn it. 
back. I mean, yeah, he should be able to destroy the spring gate. shambles here. Mm -mm -mm. You see, look at how big this level is. This is just one level of how many. Pack it to the brim. Shoot. Right. Oh, little one's coming, of course. That's how they make it harder, they just send little ones out here. Yeah. He's just casually waiting for us. Another granola bar. Wait. Right. Probably getting soon tonight, guys. We've been going for about five. Doesn't seem like it's been that long, but well, there we go. Maybe we can end here. Let's go to our skills page. Hopefully, they can hop on again tomorrow, guys. For you, um, we're gonna do some state of decay too soon and get ready for the uh, lethal zone. We're playing more of this in October for sure. This will probably 
From the looks of it, this is going to spill over into November. I think this game is going to take me a good, like, 30 to 40 hours, maybe. From the looks of the, the length here. So this will be a fun journey. And I don't want to, like, rush through it and just, like, feel like I have to finish it in October. So we'll probably give it until, like, mid-November if we need. But we, all have, we, all, we will have new other series coming up in November too. And uh, we're going to do more... Uh, the next stream I do will probably have State of Decay 2 along with like... Maybe more of this or we could do Shattered Memories. Try and get further in that. Because we're maybe like a third of the way through that game probably. And uh, Evil Within. Hopefully we can get that going as well. Maybe a few more surprises this October, we'll see. It's been an amazing time so far this month. I've had a great time streaming all the horror stuff, guys. Hope you've all enjoyed it too. Uh, let me just... Chain Barrier, what is this one? Actually, I'm going to upgrade that. Let's do that. His relic powers, though. The next level is... I don't know what it is, actually. Get saved. Hey, welcome back in. Uh, I guess Dark Dungeon is next, huh? Chapter 1, Chapter 2, yeah. He's all over the map. I wonder how the second Wars of Shadow game is, too. Like, I would... I would like to get that one eventually, but it's probably more expensive than this one. This one's still pretty dirt cheap, considering it's such a good game. You don't really get bang for your buck here with this one. Um, so next time we play this, we'll probably f try and finish Chapter 2 and at least get started on Chapter 3. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. This is good stuff. You guys wanted to see this one. Hopefully you enjoy the entire series. Like I said, it's gonna take us it's gonna take us a bit to get through this game. <sighs> but you are all fantastic. Thank you so much for all the support on Twitch and YouTube. Um, take care of yourselves. Enjoy the enjoy your October. Be safe. Enjoy your gaming. I'll see you all very soon. Thanks for coming in those here on Twitch. next time zero is the number we'll be back soon enough peace shulk thanks for coming in